Hi everyone, I'm McDysis, and this is Lollipop Chainsaw. Uh, I've been wanting to do an explained video for this for a while now, and I realized that uh, by muting the in-game music and playing the lo-fi hip-hop that's royalty-free, I can actually make one and not have to worry about getting demonetized. So, um, I'm going to be doing a New Game Plus run of this game, because it's going to kind of explain how to speedrun both categories, and there's not too much of a difference barring upgrades, and I can also kind of... It's a good way of getting into the run, so it just, a lot of the stuff will transfer over, and there's not a lot of unique tech that New Game Plus does that New Game doesn't. I can explain the difference as we go, but, uh, first things first. Like I mentioned, the music, uh, in-game music some DMCA me on a lot of songs, so this way, I can just have something that's not going to totally screw me over. Uh, unfortunately, I don't get the round and, uh, I don't get the, you spin me right and ra round and round part, but that's okay. I will, I will live without that. Um... But yeah, uh, first things first for settings. Difficulty, easy. And just, you know, most speedruns use easy, going easy. Uh, after that, options. Um, if you don't want to get demonetized, turn music all the way down. Um, subtitles on. And the main thing is make sure that the aim is on auto. Uh, auto aim is going to be really important for later parts of the run because they're going to make shooting a lot easier on some of the hell sections. So just kind of keep that in mind. Anyway, if you're doing new game, you'll actually begin time on game start. If you're doing new game plus, though, you don't have to worry about that. Because you have to do manual level selection. It's a little bit weirder, but it'll be pretty easy to kind of go along. Um, new game is nice because you can just kind of mash A between levels. New game plus, you don't have to do that. You have to actually select them. So, I'm just kind of giving the early difference now. Anyway, uh, let's get geared and ready to go. I'm glad chat's enjoying the high YouTube. And I am McDice, so that's correct. Alright, so Live Pop Chainsaw has a bunch of levels. You have the tutorial, the high school, the stadium, the farm, uh, the fun center, the cathedral, and then Kill Billy. Uh, in total, there are seven, and uh, you're going to be going through all of them. Uh, like I mentioned, with New Game, you'll kind of be thrown into the level and automatically go to the next one. You just mash A. Uh, with this one, we'll be parking, we'll go to high school, then we'll go to stadium, a farm, fun center, cathedral, Kill Billy. Uh, before I begin, though, um, on New Game Plus, one of the added benefits is you get costumes. Uh, I let Twitch chat vote on the costume beforehand, so we're going to be using the bunny, because the vote was bought. Um, there's a lot you can unlock. There's some Kumar costumes. You have, like, the mom. You have Shiro from Dead Man Wonderland. A lot of fun stuff. You can get a lot of personality behind the runner. So I'm wondering, why is Juliet a giant rabbit? That is why. Okay, Personally, my favorite is Shiro, and I'd be picking that if I could. But I am obligated by Twitch chat. Uh, new game doesn't have costumes, so don't worry about that. I do want to mention as well that while I won't be buying the upgrades in particular, I already have an upgraded character because this is New Game Plus. Um, most of the run tech is going to be pretty similar between the two. Uh, I just will be mentioning where you're going to be going to shop on New Game. Also, a lot of the strats for combat aren't going to be available to high school. So if I'm doing something right now, I'll just explain what you do during that. Okay, anyway, three, two, one, let's go. So, this run's actually really cool. Uh, the reason why is because it is a hack and slash, and I like hack and slash gameplay, surprisingly enough. It's also a horror game, if you couldn't believe it. A lot of people are always ask, is this a horror game? Yes. Uh, the general gameplay loop plays a lot like Devil May Cry, kill all the enemies, go to the next set of enemies, stuff like that. Uh, there's a lot of cutscenes in the game, so do make sure you skip them as you go. Not all of them are skippable, but like the ones that look weirdly different are. So I'm not going to describe a lot of things like basic movement, because that doesn't really need explaining, but I'll be describing a lot of the fights where you don't look for in these fights and stuff like that. Because obviously with fights, there's certain things you can do better. Now, the first things you do, ignore the fight. I know, funny, right? If you don't have a counter on the bottom left, you don't need a fight in most cases. And one of the important things is not doing fights is faster than doing fights. I know, shocking revelation, right? But it's much faster. In this case, you need to do a fight you need a help. Uh, on New Game Plus, you want to do something called the Armadillo Spin. Armadillo Spin. Uh, it's going to be uh, A twice and then uh, Smash X. And that's the spin. On New Game, you're actually going to be doing uh, Heavy Attacks three times. Uh, that's going to be the ideal strategy in the early game, because that's just going to be one of the best methods of doing that. You can also do the Drop Kick, which will make the enemies groggy, but you don't have to worry too much about that right now. Uh, you just want to make sure you're getting as much killed as possible. Ah, it's only Lemur. Welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing good today. Now, another thing I want to mention is that you can be too efficient in killing in this game. It won't come up immediately, but as you play on, you're going to be noticing something called Sparkle Hunting. I want to avoid that as much as possible, because while on regular gameplay it's pretty good, on um, speedrunning, it's not very good. Uh, the reason why is because every time you Sparkle Hunt, you get a big animation, and that takes time. You don't want that. 
All right, so the next fight in the game is going to be ground enemies. Uh, these guys are just going to be on the ground and slash them. A does low attacks and Y will do high attacks. And then X does, like, melees. We don't ever use melee. It's not really too needed. Um, we use a bit of melee attacks later, but it's a special one you have to buy. There we go. So it's something to be considered there. That was another dragon. It is the bunny. So, the big thing I'm talking about is sparkle hunting will happen if you chain three enemy kills together, like so. That animation right there, you know, it looks cool, but it takes a lot of time. Have a good night, and sleep well. So, in many cases, you don't actually want to have that happen too soon, because if it does, you'll be getting a giant animation when you could just be killing more enemies. So, it's kind of funny that being inefficient will do a lot more for you than being efficient. Also, another thing you want to do, every time you um, end a 3-hit, you want to jump. So I use hit, 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 jump. Uh, that's kind of one of the things that just lets you attack faster, because you don't have to, like, drop the animation. You can just go right back into attacking, which, that's pretty nice. Also, if you're wondering why Lo-Fi, I don't know. Lo-Fi beats to killing zombies. just kind of felt right. Now, if you're wondering what importance do saving people have, uh, it's game progression, so you kind of have to do it. Uh, however, there is something to be said as well with uh, a new game, you do get money from saving people. So, for some of the people, it will be worth grabbing because you get more money that way. And the more money you get, you'll be safer for getting upgrades. Um, you do need to get a bit of money for new game regular, like we talked about. For new game plus, it won't be a huge issue, but just keep that in mind. The upgrades you want to buy, luckily, are going to be mostly the same. It's a couple stout upgrades, and you also want to get a couple of moves. As you can tell, the most busted move in the game right now is Armadillo Spin. I think I already mentioned that. However, it's not always the go-to. Uh, the other one's the Butt Slam. What that does is you ram like that. Which, I whiffed that entirely, but... I'm just going to go for the Butt Slam. Game on. There we go. What this one does is it allows you to get an immediate groggy status effect on zombies. Uh, that allows you to one-shot them, which works really good on special zombies, which you'll see later. Alright, now it's time to learn about the Hey Mickey power. Normally when you do this, it plays the song Hey Mickey. Um, activating it is a very good way of getting one sparkle hunting, and two, it'll one-shot any enemy in the game that's not a boss. Uh, boss, it'll do more damage to bosses, but won't one-shot them. Now, this is really important because one hit on the chainsaw, uh, for most enemies, it's really good in clusters, and it's really good for, also, uh, Vaughn. Good. Good. This has more like it, by the way. Getting quick kills, and not getting too much of the cuts in. Getting this on bosses is very, or not bosses, like I'd say mini bosses, the name zombies. Getting it on them will allow you to bypass an entire fight. Like normally, they're kind of meat shields. You're just kind of doing damage until they die, which it makes sense. It is a fight. But obviously, if you do that faster, you're going to want to. Alright, Blossom should be over here somewhere. There you go. And kill. So that's kind of the stuff to keep in mind. Uh, as you go through the game as well, you normally get the Hey Mickey power around the same spots. But I'll kind of tell you when I ideally like to use them. Now, are there better uses? I mean, maybe. It is a three hour run, roughly. So there is a lot of optimization still to be had. But it all really depends on preference. Like, I like using it on certain enemies. Don't know. This is a pseudo game, by the way, so it might be some more of No More Heroes, um, Shadows of the Dam, stuff like that. Now, but you're wondering, hey, look, a shop, should I upgrade? No. If you're on New Game, the only levels you'll be upgrading, because this is Prologue, I'll be naming the levels after their official names. Prologue, you upgrade nothing. Level 1, Zed. Level 3, Mariska. And level 5, Lewis, are your upgrade levels. As an essential, we hope you're doing good today. You want to get it on those levels because certain upgrades won't unlock until you get to those levels. So like right now, we're not going to have either enough money or we're not going to have the upgrade we want. So it's not really worth doing. 
the more you have the menu, the worse it'll be, and a lot of the things are going to be pretty minor in terms of trade-off. Now, here's a New Game Plus special. A named enemy spawns here. I don't know why. It's exclusive New Game Plus. But luckily for us... Oh, I looked it. I'm not even going to try anymore. <laughs> I like how I keep trying to demonstrate that move. It's really good, and then I look it like three times. Luckily, I can just armor this, but... At some point, I'll land that properly in a week. Yeah, not gonna lie, I think the lo-fi was a good move for this. But upgrades are really simple for this game, and I kinda like that, which is why I want to do this on New Game Plus. Plus, you get a little bit more personality with the costumes. Alright, it's a big fight, more of the same, kind of rinse and repeat. Now, something I do want to mention, and it is a way to save time. Uh, you might be wondering, what platform do I play this on? What should I buy it on? 360. Uh, the reason why is because in most cases for speedrunning, if it is multi-platform and not on PC, you want to be on 360. It is faster, and as always, because 360 consoles just perform better than PS3s. Uh, I don't entirely know why it is, it just so happened to be the case. Also, you can see the problem with sparkle hunting. Every time you kill three zombies in a row, you get a big cutscene. Now, there is a trade-off though. If you kill about four or five in a sparkle hunt, it's actually pretty good. So, I guess just food for thought on that. Killing too many is good. Killing, like, the bare minimum to get it, not good. But it'll happen a lot with the armadillo spin. Also, I'm gonna keep interchanging armadillo and armadillo. And I'm apologizing now if you hate that. If you hate that, I don't know, type F in the... Type F in the comments, I guess. Okay, so you may have been wondering, why haven't I used Sparkle Hunting yet? Uh, I don't want to use it because if I use it there, I'm not going to have it for the upcoming fight. Um, especially on New Game, you're going to want it for the upcoming section. Because killing mindless enemies is pretty easy. Also, there we go. That's why the butt slam is such a good attack. You get groggy, immediately kill. So, I always kill these three normally because right after this truck, there's going to be three guys spawning who are hard to kill. Um, saving Sparkle Hunting for these three in particular makes it much easier for the whole run because I don't have to worry about a difficult fight. I can just immediately activate the power and then... Guess what? Dead. Perfect. And then we just wait by the gate. And there's the first level done. This is the prologue, pretty easy. I got near my gold. Usually you want to get about a 10 minute time. You can obviously do better, but make sure you skip the cutscene. Also, exclusive to New Game Plus, you're going to have to select the level like I mentioned earlier. So go to high school, that's the next level. Uh, new Game, just mash A. They'll always take you to the right level. That was boink. I was not it'll do. I've been doing good. I'm feeling better. I'm a little bit stuffed. My throat's, uh, I have cough drops. But I'm doing a commentator run for Live Pop Chainsaw. I'm doing New Game Plus because I thought it would be, uh, just a nice way to cover both categories. So the school opens with a simple fight. It kind of introduces you to the game mechanic. We're kind of in the first real level of the game. There we go. Oh yeah, we have, we have a lot of time saved. Like, if I don't mess up anything massive, I should be able to get world record in this pretty easily. We'll see. No worries, Talon. And also, you're kind of seeing the idea once again. If you don't, if you do not need to take a fight, do not take the fight. Hard on normal? No, you do speed runs on easy. And most games do the easiest difficulty, unless it otherwise specifies. Also, we just beat all of Lollipop Chainsaw on hard with the chainsaw. I just did all of hard mode. I can do it. I just, you know. It's not really something you normally do for speedrunning. You're trying to go as fast as possible, so you're not really restricted by a lot of rules. Alright, good. See, that's what you want right there. Getting, like, five? I've taken out half the party. I got sparkles. And then we're good to go. And I beat the tower first try, exactly. That's gonna be fun, too, is I explain all the pseudo minigames. So... On New Game Plus, you don't need to care nearly as much about survivors like I talked about earlier. Now we're kind of hitting survivors that can actually die. The tutorial doesn't have too many that are going to die. 
Uh, on new game, I recommend beelining to the guy in the back and saving him because you want his cash. On new game plus, you can just kind of deal with all the zombies up front, kill as many as you can. Um, although I'm not gonna lie to you, if that guy dies, or he won't die. Uh, you really need to be taking a lot of hits for him to die. Um, his health does not really get hemorrhaged on easy. On hard mode, they they drop like flies. That was in more escape, so it was cozy. There we go. And one more. But also, something else I wanted to mention. Whenever you save someone and you want the money, rub up against them. It's not enough to save them in most cases. Some it is, others you have to like touch them. If you don't touch them, you won't get the money. So something to keep in mind as you play the game. And you actually want to get a lot of money early in terms of new games. Because if you don't get that money early, you're not going to be able to go uh, to the first buy and buy what you need. Uh, you get two upgrades really early, and you want to have them as soon as possible. Alright, so this is Fitzgibbon. Uh, he is kind of annoying, but luckily we have a nice strat for this one. Uh, otherwise, strat normally is go behind him and just sort of spam um, basic attacks. Oh god, I whipped it. Fitzgibbon, please, think of the children. Ah, screw it, I'll just do the regular right grab. There we go. There we go, good stuff. Also, not gonna lie, it's usually worth uh, saving the people, because I think it... I want to say I think it loads people in faster. That is true, Wonders. That is true. If you do not touch people, you do not get the money. I guess you're not wrong about that. You, you are not wrong. Fuck. So another thing, think, another thing that's important to note about this game is that a lot of the time save is going to be anticipating where to move next. That sounds simple as hell, but you think approach those zombies to the fight, right? Wrong. Go towards the back here. A bus is going to crash or block you off, and... There you go. You want to have all the movements prepped as much as possible. Having prep movements can be very important. Which is something really minor, and it sounds dumb I'm even saying it out loud. But it's one of those things that I want to pay note of. That I'm going in all the positions for a reason, because Juliet's position will carry over in most cases. So these are pretty easy. These are like the little Nick mini game. Uh, sometimes you'll have to like move past obstacles and you need to just... It just kind of like Simon, you push the button. It'll tell you, push the watch. Push these buttons. Just make sure you don't mess it up. I don't think it's too much slower if you mess it up, but I don't recommend it either way. Alright, if you are on new game, you'll be going to this shop right here and you'll be buying the upgrades Strength, it's the weight, and you'll be buying Armadillo Spin. Uh, you can grab the Nick ticket if you want. Personally, I don't like using them because they have an animation that's not the best, but you can buy it if you want to. But you'll be buying both of those from there. Now, obviously, Strength is the best upgrade in the game. Uh, the more damage you can do, the much better you'll be. It's just very obvious. Hey, in a game where doing damage means you're faster, doing damage makes you faster. Alright, good. So that is something important to note. So you can actually use the star to preserve your star power. I don't know why I used it here, I'm a dumb. Uh, I thought, I tried to get greedy. So what you can do there, I kind of messed it up just because I, I brained it. You can wait to activate your power, wait on the left, use it, and then grab the star. What that'll do is it'll keep you topped off so you don't have to lose it and you can save it for this cop. But luckily I can just hit him with the butt slam. But especially on new game, really uh, well done to have. Now, for dodging this guy, dodge roll into him repeatedly, uh, otherwise you'll be eating a lot of hits. It is very important to note that, you want to absolutely be doing that. Uh, I recommend saving a star power, a Hey Mickey for that portion, because if you don't, it will not be good. And if you couldn't tell so far, the big thing is whenever you have a named enemy, you want to be using it as much as you can. Uh, they just have larger health bars, and in most cases, especially not until late game, uh, you're not going to be able to do a whole lot. 
Funny enough as well, uh, even with New Game Plus, at a certain point, the benefit's actually not going to weigh, like, weigh in anymore. So, I'll let you know when that happens. For now, during this cutscene, go melee left and just chainsaw this. If you fail, you die immediately. So, don't fail. Now, another cool thing about this game is you might be wondering, does this game have any special speedrun tech? Yes. Um, we'll be having a trick in Chapter 2 known as Vic, and Chapter 3 known as Mariska. And we'll be having something during uh, Chapter 5, Lewis. Uh, all those chapters are going to have very special tricks that we'll be using uh, for our own nefarious purposes, so to speak. Ah, oh, damn, we got it. And they're actually pretty difficult tricks, um, with, I think, Lewis having the hardest trick in the game, uh, Mariska having a pretty hard one, and then Vix is super easy. For this survivor, always talk to them. Um, for some reason, I think they, like, the event doesn't happen unless you talk to them for some reason. Like, I think it's the game trying to tell you, hey, you're gonna lose survivor if you don't rush, so. Now, another fun part, ignore the enemies. I really cannot stress it enough, especially in the early game. Uh, make sure you are not taking fights you don't need to take. If the game does not want you to fight, you do not have a need to fight. Also, funny enough, I did a meme challenge uh, before doing this, and that meme challenge helped me uh, find out how to better optimize certain strats. Like, weirdly optimize them. Damn. Exactly, Coco. Also, hope you're doing good today. Okay, so you get a lot of money from these survivors, it's definitely worth saving them, and honestly, you almost always do it, because this is like the introduction of the pole dancing mechanic. Yes, the pole dancing mechanic. That is an actual phrase that came out of my mouth during the running of this game. What does it do? Well, exactly the way it sounds. It does a lot of damage to enemies all at once. Um, it's just kind of worth it, and you don't get a cutscene, so... Uh, on any percent, you'll get like maybe uh, maybe the full room, if not eight killed. Looks like I got about yeah, I got about eight. And then, like I said, you can grab the money in the corner. I don't need the money, but you can grab it if you like. I recommend grabbing that money, especially on New Game. It is a nice buffer. As well, having additional money is not a problem, so don't worry about um. Don't worry too much about, what's the word, not having the money. You actually want to make sure that you get a little bit of excess money. Because if you do, then you can actually uh, entirely uh, bypass certain enemy designs, which will be nice later. Also, here's a fun trick. Uh, you can actually just... Wait. You don't need to kill them. Why fight when you can just wait right here? We're getting the bad endings, obviously that's going to be faster. But that's like one of the scenarios where it just faster to fuck up. You just mess up. You just don't do it. No point. Song, I'm on lo-fi hip-hop beats to study and chill too. So, in the past, people would just kill all the zombies here manually, but I think it's actually faster to do the hopping. Uh, I like doing the hopping because every bounce will kill immediately, and you don't get a cutscene. Uh, you also make your way to the end of the room much faster this way. It might not seem faster, but it weirdly is killing this many zombies. Also, I love how goofy the rabbit. You know, the rabbit's kind of growing on me, not gonna lie. So it's pretty worth it to do. Julia, where are we going? I need to find Morikawa Sensei. He'll know what to do. Who's that? It is the bunny, yes. Is this that bunny hopping? Yes, it is. It absolutely is. You got it. You figured it out. I can't believe it. Uh, now, something else I should have mentioned 20 minutes ago. Uh, if you're doing this on Xbox 360, for the love of God, install the game on your hard drive. There's an option on the console. It'll make your loads much faster. Please install the game. Trust me, you will save a bunch of time. It is wild how much you save. A lot of you don't know this is an option. This is an option. So, if you're wondering how to save a lot of time, that's how you do it. Alright, zombie basketball. This section is actually not that hard, but there is something to keep in mind. 
Uh, the way it's going to work is start by killing all these guys in the back behind the three-point line. It's basketball. You get more points if you do the three-point line, right? Uh, they will punch you, which is unfortunate. Uh, with this guy, he's going to start blocking. So once this guy spawns in, you want us to actually start playing towards the... Uh, I think it's... I don't know what exactly it's called. I always known it just as the paint. We want to play more towards the actual like center area. Uh, the reason why is because every the key is it called the key? The key. Though. But you want to play towards this area. Uh, every four zombies killed, a blocker will come out, and you do not want the blocker to block. Uh, even if you're getting killed, it means you're not getting points. This isn't a kill-based thing; it's a point-based thing. The only way you're gonna get points is if you're scoring. So you need to make sure that the blocker is always not on you. See? You get a lot of uh, a lot of baskets this way. Now, the moment the cheerleaders come out, I actually recommend you use a star power. Uh, you won't get Hey Mickey during this section funny enough. This is one of the only times you don't in the whole game. Uh, it's kind of weird that they don't do it. Probably because they don't want you to take away from the timer there. But uh, I do this because cheerleader zombies are weird in that if you hit them, they lose their legs. And they're really awkward to hit because they dodge a lot. Um, everything will die in one shot here anyway, but it's really worth it just to not have to deal with cheerleaders. And you can see that's a lot better. Uh, as well, at this point, you're going to get another star power regeneration by the time you need another one, so it's no problem. And of course, Simski. Hope you're doing good today, by the way. Alright, this room is just going to blow up, so just get ready to leave through this door right here. Uh, it just takes a moment to like load in the, the whole like, thing. There you go. Now, I want to mention, the second shot, for some reason, if you did not have money to buy Armadillo Spin and the weights on number one, buy them. Uh, weights should have priority over Armadillo Spin, but you really should have one. Like, if you didn't get them, make sure you're being maybe a little bit more greedy with your money. Which, a good way of getting money, funny enough, is Sparkle Honey. There we go. And that's actually one of the fun balances. Uh, all the runs I've actually uploaded on YouTube for Live Up Chainsaw so far are all the new game runs. So if you ever want like reference to what exactly to do, I do have those there. Uh, they're pretty good. I'm pretty good at having them. Also, for Twitch chat, I hope that you're enjoying the run so far. I know I'm kind of talking a lot about the general game stuff, but I just hope that you enjoy when I do these. I know they're a different form, but it's kind of fun to talk about these while I play the game. Very nice, MC. Well, I hope it all goes well. I hope that your chicken stew is quite nice. There we go. Alright, so big thing about this room, as you can see, I'm just doing fights. Make sure you just look around to, like, know where they are. Like, this room is much less of an actual combat room as it is a find the enemies room. Hey, well, glad to hear there. Glad to hear, Coco. I'm not gonna lie, I really like being able to have... Oh, shit, I missed it. That's what you don't miss, by the way. Also, you, you just... Oh, my God. Sorry, Chainsaw Controller had me a bit messed up. I'm still thinking of Chainsaw on the Braid. <laughs> Can you believe I rolled a record in New Game? I can't. <laughs> and nice drags, very nice. It does fit. Alright, so right here you get a fight with two cops. If you have star power, you can use it. Otherwise, um, just armadillo spin them to death. There we go. Good stuff. Uh, as you can tell, by the way, uh, cop zombies are actually one of the hardest enemies to deal with in the whole game. Uh, you actually don't deal with too many of them later. Uh, and, like, they come up back later in the game, in, like, Chapter 5, but, like, they, for most of the game, they don't really show up. They're kind of particular to, like, certain areas. Alrighty, here we go. Yeah, they do. Alright, well, sparkle hunting. I did do that, Sir Dan. Are you, I, are you memeing? Or are you actually, like... Are you being serious? If you're being serious, I did that earlier today. If you're memeing, ha 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 ha. Alright, so if you're having trouble with this fight, you can let them kill each other by letting them walk into each other. That is an option. Uh, okay. Just waking up, you're serious? Oh, well, good news. Watch the VOD. Uh, I did that earlier today. 
And I did it on hard mode. See? They killed each other. Now you can just wait it out. Alrighty. Not bad so far. Sparkle hunting. The whole run is how much sparkle hunting can you really get, isn't it? The very same, Naloku. The very same. Also, as you can imagine, guess what you're using on this guy? Now, if you're wondering why didn't I use it earlier, um, as you could tell when I did that earlier and messed up, whenever you go through like a weird cutscene event, they actually kind of kill it for some reason. So between fights, I don't know why they don't let you keep it. Um, for some reason, it just doesn't last. But yeah, it took me five hours, but I was able to beat it on, um, what's the word? With only a chainsaw. No, I did not steal Selena's. I have mine. It's it's better, I think. Killing zombies gives me total wood. That's a I think it's better. Also, the reason why you don't have to worry about chainsaw power there is because you're getting a huge star during this section. Check, check. One, two, three. Uh, after this fight is done, um, you're going to be doing a wave defense, and they're going to give you like something for it. Which, it's nice, but you don't really need it. So you can just sort of uh, make do, I suppose. So another important thing to know is sometimes it is more worth it to use basic attacks as opposed to armadillo spin. So just kind of keep that in mind. You notice me swapping sometimes, it's just I'm trying to make sure I don't get sparkle hunting as much as possible. Alright, wave defense time. Wave defense is pretty easy. Um, personally on new game what I do is I just do basic slashes. I don't even try armadillo because it's not really worth it to me. Uh, I do something more like this where just one, two, three. Uh, but, you know, we have Butt Slam early. I'm able to use it. You guys touching an I don't even know if it's actually faster, especially if you miss. Now, a uh, thing to note about this is it's not the end of the world if anyone gets by. I think you have, like, maybe five, like three to five that you can mess up on. I don't recommend messing up, but it's not the end of the world if you do. Alternatively, if you are worried, what you can do is uh, you have an ability called Drop Kick. Uh, by jumping, or uh, by pushing B and then X, uh, you can kick enemies in the walls. Uh, that's actually a really good way early game if you are having trouble with certain fights, because that's going to allow you to uh, make enemies groggy. It's kind of like Butt Slam, but the reason I don't use it as much is because Butt Slam will stop an enemy in those tracks. Uh, drop Kick will actually push the enemy. So you don't want to be careful with that. Also, uh, I should mention, make sure you stay stocked up on Lollipops. Uh, they're always good to have, and don't be afraid to heal if you're low. Uh, dying loses time, and it can happen in the speedrun. Also, there's the star I talked about. Uh, they're kind of expecting you to use it by messing up more, so you probably won't. But just in case you do, you have it. Like, watch. For instance, that guy right there is too long to kill. I'm still going to walk into it. There's no point in me uh, getting a perfect defense. Yeah, Chainsaw Spin's really good. There we go. How are you doing, by the way, Sir Dan? Hope you have a nice day. Alright, at this point, they just give you a little QTE. What this is gonna do is, it's like, hey, it's gonna blow up. You better get out of there. So you just walk out. I know, simple, wild. I can't believe it, we did it. We walked out. Beautiful. Nice. Well, hope you have a good day at work. Alrighty, so we're getting close to the first boss of the game. Um, every level has a boss and all that. And they they all have their different mechanics. Like, Zed's the most normal boss in the game, barring maybe Lewis. All the other bosses have weird mechanics that you kind of have to deal with. Uh, Zed's kind of nice, because he's a breath of fresh air in comparison to everything else. Uh, there is actually a really cool trick you can do here. Personally, I don't think it's worth it because doing the actual in-game content, like, is not that much slower. Um, also, I never bother to learn it just because it doesn't really look that much faster, and it's kind of hard to do because you can't really see where you're going. But you can do an out-of-bounds here. Um, there is a guide on the Spinner.com page. Um, I was probably looking up there if you want to. But I do want to say it is not necessary for record at all. 
All right, so giant letters are recommend doing is cutting right and then going left. Also, if you're worried, you can also start hopping. Uh, that'll help you avoid it. Uh, don't worry about these zombies. Just pass them. Get ready to pass the QTEs. Do not fail these. These are death QTEs. Uh, death QTEs are QTEs that if you mess up, the result is immediate death. And you get a long game over cut to So be very careful with these. Like, pay attention. Take your time. Push the button. I'll restring my guitar with your intestines! Right? Because that is fun. Alright, so we're gonna be having a little fight section. I don't recommend using star power if you can avoid it here. Um, you actually wanna avoid it for the most part, because saving it for the boss fight is gonna be nice. Um, it does let you get a little bit more damage out. Oh god. Uh, yeah, this is one of the only sections you do have the fight, right here. Uh, for the most part, you can avoid most enemies. Oh, he's calling you a vanilla slut. That is what he is calling you. So that's why it says vanilla. Now, you're not actually going to be fast enough to fully get this, all you can try. Uh, normally, you'll be eating a few hits. So, just kind of dodge in the corner, and then, there you go. Yeah, some of the stuff is pretty brutal on what you have to do. That's why I really cannot stress enough for any of the car ones, take your time. Like, make sure you push the right button. Do not, like, fat finger it. Do not, like, rush to mash it. Take your time. Wrong button. There you go. All right, so we're gonna pass these enemies, and then after we do that, uh, we're gonna be hit with another QT. Uh, and then after that, we'll be going ready for the boss. And first boss is gonna be pretty easy. We got a few phases, but it should be pretty easy. All right, one, two, three. All right, dive to the car, and then after that, we're gonna be slashing. Uh, these are actually the same every time, so you just memorize the buttons. You can actually keep it that way. But just food for thought. Alright, so the Zed boss fight. He's gonna have three phases. Um, the phases always end in a chainsaw slash. I could do the debate, but I'm gonna be honest, this is to help people learn the game, or if you're just interested in a lot about chainsaw and in-depth commentary, it is a way of just kind of being able to see it. I'm not gonna pull the total fake out. I mean, I, they're fun. Also, I like how she pulls out the mask. Alright, so first things first, know that uh, left button is how to lock on. Uh, I like to use star power uh, during that. Uh, you can see it just melts him. Um, Melting Zed is very good. And there we go, phase one is done. I like using him phase one the best, because phase one you can immediately go into death mode. Oh my god, he eat the boss fight, I should split now, right? No, I just said I'm not going to. I just said the joke, okay. So phase one, really fast, uh, just kind of dodge the hit, let him run around, and then counter attack with a sparkles. Uh, phase two is kind of weird, and this does go a little bit faster. Um, destroy all the amps on the way to where he's going. Uh, like, don't deviate out of the way to destroy them. Like, make sure you are, like, just destroying them reasonably. I break this one, and then break this one. Yeah, so doing Sparkle on the bosses isn't an immediate kill, but it does do more damage. So it's a damage buff. It's hidden. But it's not exactly the, like, a huge thing. So the reason why I'm not breaking all of them at once is by doing so, I have had uh, like a bug in the past where he actually generate some. So you want to make sure you play a little bit with the chase. Um, which is why I'm moving over that ground attack. You can break two at a time. Now this, you're just holding right, uh, right, right. Uh, dodge when it comes up, and just keep going back to it. This is a very simple phase too. And also, they literally show you what button to press. And you can just continue going on it. Don't you love Zed's lo-fi hip-hop beats to study and die to? Also, you'll never beat the timer on that. Don't try it. You'll always have to dodge. And then once it's down, you'll be hit with a finish him. Uh, last phase is coming up right now. Oh, my back. Also, you can't skip this bot. You can't skip that cutscene. Alright. During these, you can't actually run forward, so it's not really worth trying to pass it. Uh, just let him approach you. Uh, we're probably going to counterattack in a moment here with the QTE. It's random chance what uh, phase will sets give you. Uh, just at this point, you already have armadillo spin, so combat mostly the same. Uh, if you can chain that, try to chain that. Alright, so the important thing to know is that when he dies. Um... I'm getting bad RNG on his attacks, actually, because I don't want him to keep doing this attack, because I can't ever approach him when he does that. Here we go. 
You know, I want you to go with the classic running butt run. Okay, so for this one, the finish, he'll always jump in the middle. He's going to launch giant letters at me. I stay back, and then I weave left and right like so. Uh, make sure you do that. Uh, once the letter's gone, jump slash, and dead. It's a very straightforward fight, but the reason why you don't want to start immediately close to him is if you do that, he's going to knock you all the way back. Now, if you're all the way in the back, you can start moving forward faster. If you're all the way in the front, you'll get knocked all the way back, and then you can't move. So that is the difference. Anyway, that is Zed, and like I mentioned, uh, after this little cutscene here, the the gift. You can't skip this one, you have to watch it. Uh, you're going to be able to go to the next level. A new game, mash A, new game plus, make sure you select it properly. Of course, much friends. I know how people feel about the rabbit costume, apparently. There we go. So, Stadium is the next level. Uh, Stadium, I think, is one of the harder levels for the, the casual stuff, I suppose. Like, of the combat, weirdly enough. Uh, we're kind of getting introduced to one of the more annoying enemy types in the game, which is footballers. Uh, footballers, I'm going to have a few tips to deal with, but just kind of keep in mind that um, I'm going to be doing particular strats against them. Also, we're learning your best friend in the game. This is going to be the Chainsaw Dash. Uh, Chainsaw Dash is going to be faster movement. When you can use it, you want to use it. So, R1 does Chainsaw Dash. It lets you run really fast. Uh, make sure you pick up the gas cancers when you're doing this, because it'd be nice. Um, these guys are going to have to fight. So on New Game Plus, you can just sort of do Armadillo Spin. On New Game, be careful of when you use it. You want to use it earlier than usual and not on the body. If you use it on the body against footballers, you chop off their legs and you won't do damage to them. Now, something with um, Chainsaw Dash. Do not run into too, en too many enemies. You're also going to get a Sparkle Hunt and that's not going to be good for you. Uh, having that too early is going to make it so you, um, you know, you just get a cutscene, and as always, you want to avoid those as much as possible. Hold on, one, two, three, and good. So it's not butt bounce. You don't use butt bounce until uh, chapter three. Funny enough. Uh, the strategy you want to do for these screw footballers is actually attack them, push them a little bit forward, and you want to get them next to these things. Uh, they're going to try to ram you, that's okay, but by getting them next to these, it gets them immediately groggy and ice. Uh, that'll be a one-shot kill. Um, you want to abuse this mechanic as much as possible. Um, keep in mind, uh, these guys are really strong. Also, you can then see the dilemma I have with these guys, where they just kind of end up on the ground, and then you have to deal with them. Like, this is an example of a bad fight on Alexander. The other ones, you want to make sure that you are getting into the ice. That's the new game strap. Nice, Labo. I hope you're having a good lunch. This is a really chill environment, by the way. Which I guess it makes sense. Alright, good stuff. All right, into the bus we go. Yeah, dealing with the footballers is kind of funny as it is a weirdly difficult section. I hate it when everyone turns into zombies, but it's also kind of fun. All right, now we can dash again. It is fun. It makes me forget and then inside we go. You can ignore that money there. Not all money is needed. Just some money is needed. It's kind of funny because I was saying get a lot of money, but don't ever deviate into different paths to get the money. It's not really worth it to do that. If you're deviating in different paths, and just, you know, you're going out of the way to get money that you'll probably get later from fights. Now, you might accidentally sparkle hunt money more than anything. Ignore the shot, by the way. You don't need to use it. Um, once again, chapters 1, 3, and 5 are your shopping levels. So you don't actually want to do it there. Uh, the upgrades you're going to want aren't available during Vic. There we go. So, weird part about the firefighters here. Uh, this fight is actually a weird spot for where you want to end up. Also, like I mentioned, Dropkick is your friend, because Dropkick can do that. You want to wait by this green door. Like, this seems like you'd want to go to the end of the aisle, but... Wait here. This game really kind of throws you for a loop for, like, the elements of the game. Also, look, it's the TikTok clip where they talk about Nick's favorite color. There we go. Alright, fight with four footballers. 
So, something you do want to avoid that I'll show you is, you see, when I do that low swing into the high, I get a guy on the ground, right? Don't do this where you jump and then slash into the guys on the ground. Um, the reason why is because while it does do decent damage, um, you'll end up possibly getting a, a bad slash. Like, let's see if I can get it. I'm not really getting it, the funniest part. You pretty much don't want to be getting the QTE to drill in their bodies. It's really good casually, really bad speedrun-wise. It's funny that a lot of stuff you want to do casually, you don't want to do for the speedrun because I, it's just slower. Like, when I get the gun ability, it's gonna be hilarious because I'm gonna be whiffing shots every now and again, and you're thinking, oh, he must suck at aiming. No. Quite the opposite, actually. I want to mess up my shots, but I'm messing my shots, I don't have to worry about the, uh, what's the word? Getting sparkle hunting, I suppose. Alright, so these are the floor guys. Um, honestly, they just spawn. I don't think you'd ever actually even get to sparkle on any of these guys. Am I good at headshots? Yes. Exactly. You get it. Number two. One, two. Alright, get this up. And then you just kill until you get a body. Remember, don't mess up the QTEs or else you lose time. And health. Although, the funniest part is that he'll keep walking even if you, like, delay them. So if you really do want to take your time, you kind of can. It's weird. I lost a few to Sparkle Hunt? No. It's kind of a hidden timer that... I'm not gonna lie to you, Live Pop Chainsaw does not have the most runners, uh... Shit! Wrong button. Well, uh... There's a fun question for you. Let's I hope I keep it. Or I keep it, thank god. Not the end of the world. Don't activate it there. Activate it here. Uh, this actually is the fight I wanted to have it for, but uh... Make sure you use it on these guys and not earlier. Uh, I accidentally was trying to chainsaw dash and I pushed the wrong button. Uh, don't do that. You want to save that sparkle for that fight in particular game. So food for thought. It does, Maxilla. It really does. It's a chill time. Alright, back to Chainsaw Dash. Also, but you're wondering, do you want to buy health upgrades like health at all? No. On New Game Plus, you're going to have it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Also, do not hit all three of them. You'll get a cutscene. You don't want that. Health doesn't really matter, because you're going to have nine lollipops at your disposal. If you ever run low, just start using them. They're really easy to gather. You're always going to be topped off. And if you're, you shouldn't be running low on health. Just because you'll usually have the resources to deal with it. As well, always make sure you're running into the canisters, like I mentioned. Uh, if you don't, you'll drop the chainsaw dash, and you lose time for that. All right, round two of zombie basketball. Uh, this round's a little bit different. They're adding in a stronger guard. So same strat as last time. Make sure that the first guard is taken out. And then you can start scoring points. If you want to be on the outside, you can, but like honestly, it's pretty minimal. Just keep an eye out on the the guard in the middle. At some point, a stronger guard will spawn into the game. When he does, there's actually a new strat that I came up with the chainsaw run. They did this game earlier having a uh, chainsaw controller, which is drop kick him out. Thank you, game. Very cool. Drop kick him out of the way. Wrong wrong guy. This guy. Get, get out of the way. Hey. Out of the way, plebs. There. Drop kick him out of the way like that. Uh, what that does is it will entirely prevent him from getting involved. Uh, he'll just leave the vicinity. And if you do that, guess what? You win. You can do that on any difficulty. You have drop kick as an innate ability, you'll just have it. So, using it there, really nice. Alternatively, you can sparkle hunts. I don't recommend doing it because you want to have it later. But there's actually a new strat I came up with there as well. There's a lot of new strats that came up with the meme run. It's kind of hilarious too because different perspectives really can give you um, pretty good like strategies quite often. Uh, if you do need sparkle hunting, it is up there. Um, it is nice to grab if you need it, but I don't. Re it's not entirely needed. You know, you can see especially since I'm kind of topped off. Uh, in the past, I actually was using it, though, on the cheerleader fight coming up. However, there's another strat you can do. And that's going to have to do with the dropkick. Or you can use Bot Slam if you're on New Game Plus. 
Really, I think even Dropkick might be better because of the walls. It's kind of weird on how interchangeable it is. I also hope the lo-fi music's been audible and not like totally just on my end. I like to think it is. I feel like I've hit pure ASMR time. Is it just zombie killing, lo-fi hip hop, and like I feel like a lot of people are just like really cozy drinking, I don't know, cocoa or something. Alright, so these guys won't be available until a little bit. Kill this guy first. Uh, these guys have weirdly low health pool. Like, they'll die in two hits normally on New Game. So deal with them as soon as possible. Uh, you are going to be saving Sparkle Hunting for uh, the name zombie here. Uh, I believe it is worth using. Uh, and they spawn in the waves too. The moment she spawns, you're well, more than welcome to use it. Uh, but she does take a little bit. She's usually at the last enemy to spawn. Fitting well. Yeah, originally I didn't think it was going to fit as well, but it did. Yeah, so this enemy right here, uh, she's pretty beefy. Guess what? We don't care. Because we can just, uh, hey, look, she's dead. And there we go. Alright, so I know what you're thinking. Hey, wait a minute, what about those zombie cheerleaders you talked about? So, they're a tough fight. Now, do not fight them immediately. Also, if you need the money, you can save the two in the corner there. Uh, there's gonna be two survivors in the left side. You can save them. Drop kick and slash. Immediate kill. Uh, this makes this fight super trivial. Uh, they're not even a problem. Uh, you don't even need to butt slam. Butt slam's hard to aim. Just drop kick, slash. Oh, hold on, you're the named one. I don't think the one on the right's named on New Game, funny enough. So it's actually an easier fight on New Game than New Game Plus. Wait, what? This one's a unique fight. This one won't give you a problem normally. There we go. So that's the problem that the cheerleaders have. I'm going to show you the fun of it. Alright, on this thing, just mash B. That's it. If you need money, talk to the one closest to this thing. I'll give you money. You probably might not need it, but it's worth grabbing. Mash B here, and then you can push whatever buttons you want. You don't. If you need money, you can mash it. Otherwise, it's not a huge deal. You just need to make sure you get the boost. Be careful walking off that, though, because you can fall off that, and it's kind of silly. I've done that earlier, and it was kind of funny. Like, I didn't know you could fall off that. You can. You just sort of can fall off, which is, I guess, kind of funny. This phone call also always happens, by the way. You can never truly skip it. Alrighty. So, what you're gonna have here is a fight with like three firefighters. Alright, no, sorry, football man. Ah, Zoom Gucci Ghost Face, welcome to the stream. Alright, not so bad. And dead. I want to have that you here. Why the bunny costume? I don't hate it, hate it. It got voted on. I listened to Twitch chat, Kasaka. Oh, well. oh, it was voted on. Actually, it was heavily bought with channel points, but. I mean, a full's a full. That's why you have them, you're allowed to use them here. If people want a different costume, they could have put more into there. And then, up we go. It wasn't only capitalism though, because it was points. If someone spent bits, then I think it would be more in that line, but nope, it was not bits, it was regular points. They're fun, D-Man, they're fun. Alrighty. So. We're hitting our first skip of the game at about an hour in. A lot of the skips happen to like around the hour mark, weirdly enough. Like they're all back. Like once you get going, you get going. So, the way this is gonna work is that if you jump the ramp coming up, you'll get into a fight. That takes longer. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna nudge my stick forward in this corner until I'm kinda like off the edge a little bit. Oh, I fell. Uh luckily you can always retry. Just avoid the lightning, don't get hit. But you want to be right off the corner, so like you're barely... Also, the lightning RNG, so be careful. You want to be like that, face the fence, and then dash. Uh, dashing here will allow you to bypass the fight entirely, and then you can just ignore it, and guess what? I skipped the fight. Also, um, I don't even recommend getting the money here on New Game. If you really want money, you can go on the left, on the right path. Um, I usually go on the left path, I think it's just faster. It feels faster to me, at least. I think it's shorter. 
Have a good one, Sir Dan. Have a good day at work. Oh, God. Also, uh, if I look like I'm steering kind of wonky, uh, don't mind me. Uh, I don't have the best Xbox 360 controller. Um, I've been using some for a while, and it kind of has a weird rift. I think I complained about this on my downpour, on my, 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 um, my, my home pour run. And I still have the same controller, so. Um, I, I'm a big fan of using something until it's broken, so. I, I'm a very thrifty guy. I don't really, I don't try to be too advanced if I don't have to be. So that is the case. Nice Alrighty, we're now hitting a powerful weapon. Wait, what's the name of this gun again? I don't remember. Let's see. So, Chainsaw Blaster is going to be a pain. It's your friend. Remember I said you wanted auto aim on earlier? So, Chainsaw Blaster is going to be a gun that, um, yeah, chainsaw gun. Uh, the way it's going to work is you just pull out an aim and you abuse auto aim. You're going to hear the word blaster a lot. This is the style you want. Uh, auto aim will usually aim at your opponent almost immediately. So it might look wonky, make sure you're doing this though. Especially for some fights, it's gonna be way easier than just trying to aim manually. Sometimes you'll aim manually like this, it's not the end of the world if you do it. Um, just keep in mind, depending on how you go, like especially for combat sections, it's gonna be way better. Now, do not kill three enemies in a row. You have to space out your kills. Especially here, it's not about killing enemies, you're protecting Nick. This is a protection mission. So do not kill three in a row quickly. If you kill three in a row quickly, you'll get a sparkle hunt. Now, sparkle hunt's good for money, bad for time. You do not want that at all. So I'm actually delaying it as much as I can. I'm trying to make sure I'm not doing it. You need Nick to cross three times. Every time you get into sparkle hunting, that's time Nick is not running. There we go. Also, keep in mind, some enemies don't really care about Nick and they won't even be able to hit him. Uh, your order is bat enemies, um, baseball enemies, and cheerleaders. Anything else doesn't really matter as much, so you can kind of take a little bit more time. But if an enemy has a bat, they're going to hit Nick. If an enemy has a baseball, like the pitcher, they're going to hit Nick. And if it's a cheerleader, they're going to hit Nick. Um, I guess cheerleaders are the most concerned, then bats, and then the mound in the middle. Also, if you're wondering why I keep moving to the front, I want to make sure I'm staying topped off my bullets. Uh, cheerleaders, I'd say immediately deal with, they're quite fast. It's kind of funny that the hardest enemy to deal with in the game is a cheerleader. Nick is mostly manageable, actually. He's not too hard to deal with in this portion. Um, just keep in mind, um, eating a sparkle hunt isn't the end of the world. Like, if it's between dying and sparkle hunting, just, just sparkle hunt. You know why? A sparkle hunt will lose less time than dying. Alright. Nick will do his little dance, and at this point, you're almost home free. Uh, make sure you top off on your ammo, though, going near. Uh, once you're done, we're done with this portion, and you're now going to be getting ready for the second boss of the game, Vic. Uh, Vic is a weird fight, and he's gonna, like always, he's gonna have three phases. Maxilla. Blaster, chainsaw, blaster. Blaster, chainsaw, blaster. Ah, yes. Chainsaw, blaster. It was the chainsaw blaster, you're right. They have 25 chainsaw blaster biddies. I should make Chainsaw Blaster in an emote, but I need the sound, not an emote to cheer, but I need the sound effect. I think it's a fun one. I could appreciate Chainsaw Blaster. What number works for a chainsaw? I don't know. That is the question. Alright, boss time. <laughs> mm. Mm. Okay, so Nick phase one. What you're gonna wanna do, or not not Nick, Vic. I think she did, D-Man, I think she did. Uh, one, uh, don't actually attack, because he almost always opens up this attack. 
too. Sparkle on. Make sure you are not eating that lightning. Uh, if it happens, this will happen, and it's really bad. You get permanently stunned. And you'll waste a lot of your cha uh, your uh, you'll waste a lot of your ability like I just did. And you can dodge any attack. Make absolutely certain it's that hit on the ground. Getting a ram hits not the end of the world. Getting electrocuted is a stun into a stun. Phase one is down. Uh, you almost always have the same fight here. Honestly, like new game and new game plus have the same strat here entirely. Um, it's kind of funny. It's you're slightly faster on this one. Now, if he is uh, if he is above you, you want to make sure that you are. Um, well, you want to keep him down. If he does go up, use your gun. You're gonna be using chainsaw blast for a lot here. Uh, phase two is pretty quick. He stayed low. That's nice. Bad luck will be he goes to his drum set. You have to shoot it down. It kind of sucks. All right, phase three. Uh, if you did use ammo, break open these barrels. They'll give you more ammo. They're good to have open in general. Now he's gonna be a giant head. You want to make it dead. Get it? It's a it runs. So two attacks can happen here. One, he dashes on the ground. The dash, you're gonna wait out. Uh, if he's waiting in the air, you are going to pump him full of ammo. Almost always open up on this attack. Uh, if you get the lightning, that is mid RNG. It's kind of weird. Uh, honestly, just tank the hit. He's never gonna do enough damage to you no matter. Um, you want him low on health before he does this, actually. So this is actually pretty good RNG. Uh, the reason why is because um, you're not gonna be able to attack him to the end, and you want to make sure you can actually get him into the final form, uh, which you won't be able to slash him until he is like this. Which is why you want that one second. That's actually really good RNG there. Um, honestly, the order you do it doesn't matter too much. Just know that you, to end the fight, you're going to have to have him in that phase. So, anyway, really good fight. We are now on the third level, because Vic is now done. And we're going to be hitting the uh, the heavily sped ran part of Live Up Chainsaw. Uh, the abandoned farm is probably the level I feel like makes most people not want to run this game. Because uh, they don't even realize that there's a harder trick later in the game. But uh, Mariska is such a pain. Uh, like, every way around it. Uh, it is one of the hardest levels in the game by far. I think a lot of people also wonder, how the hell do I do what I'm doing? Uh, this is why I wanted to actually make this video too. Uh, because I wanted to make this so I can kind of explain to people, hey, this is how this works exactly, and here's the multiple ways of doing it. Because, it oh boy, I hope you're ready. Oh boy. Anyway, you can chainsaw dash immediately, it'll get you far enough into this to where you can then, uh, I think you have the fall, by the way. Uh, you can just go into this cutscene. At this point, you're going to have Armadillo spin, so that's going to be your bread and butter once again. Do just make sure you're not fully using it on subways. Uh, if you are low on ammo from the last one, grab that ammo. You're going to need uh, higher ends of ammo here. You don't want to have low ammo, you want to have high ammo. Now, uh, for the next fight with these dudes coming up, uh, you actually want to be using Chainsaw Blaster. You're going to be going left into this money, uh, wait just a brief moment, let them kind of walk into you, and then pop. Guess what? You'll kill almost all of them except for one. And then, get, see? That's really efficient. So, uh, this fight, aim. That's the only strat I got for you. Um, manual aiming does help, but you have to use a combination of manual and uh, auto aim. Uh, like I mentioned, the auto aim is pretty nice for you, but sometimes you do need a manual aim. Because you don't manual aim, uh, the game is not going to be quite nice for you getting some of the drive-by zombies. And this way you don't have a lot of ammo. It's actually faster to just mash at certain points. Oh my god. Uh, this man to the left. Got it. Alright, once the bus here is done, uh, you're going to be getting ready for the next skip. So, there's going to be like five fights here. Like three, five, a lot of fights here. They suck. Guess what? We're not doing them. What am I going to do instead? Well, I'm going to be hopping down, and I'm going to be going left to the ammo here. Uh, get both ammo, and then I'm going to chainsaw and hold up left here. Uh, that's going to give me a little lift. That's going to run up here. You kind of got to feel your way up. Once you're up here, you're then going to be walking along this. Um, ideally, you want to make sure that you're doing fast, um, but make sure you're running kind of in this path that I'm going right here. Don't go too far to the left or right or so fall off. Uh, running through here is pretty open and free. You can maintain this pretty nicely. Uh, once I approach this, I actually do like to do a chainsaw dash. Uh, that'll give me a bit of speed. Oh! 
do not run that far left or right. If you want to be safe, stay in the mid, like so. Um, my controller's not the best. Once you're in this tree, what I recommend doing is do not go fast. Um, use the chainsaw blaster to slowly walk and aim. Uh, if you go too far to the right or left, it's bad. Uh, this is about the angle you want to have it. Keep Juliet on the fence the whole time. Uh, move along the fence. Do not at one point think Juliet is, like, wide. Uh, she is very small and can fall through the cracks easily. You want to hit this point. When you're right here, what you're going to do is you're going to line up and you're going to run forward and mash B. That's going to land you right here. You're going to do it again, land on this. From here, hold up left and aim. Uh, what you want is you want to get a rise. When you get a certain rise, you're going to be good. You might need to do it a couple times. But you'll know the rise when you see it. It's a very particular rise you need. Um, I'm taking this slow because if I do it wrong, it's really bad. You do not want to get greedy. You have plenty of time to wait. There it is. That's the rise you want. When you get this rise, you've done it, and then you run forward. And that's the whole skip right there. It's a lot of walking on air. You'll then buy at that shop on New Game. New Game Plus, don't buy there. On New Game, you're going to be buying... Uh, you're buying a lot. You're buying Lollicopter. You're buying Butt Slam. And you're buying Strength Level 2. If you have leftover money, buy Aroma. So, what all this does, Lollicopter is going to be used for later skips in the game. Uh, what Lollicopter is, is a move with dashing, where if you dash, uh, it's going to let you do a helicopter move. That's going to be used for uh, certain skips later in the game. It's not even a, it's not a combat ability. It is a speedrun skip ability. Uh, and the way it's going to work is by pushing Y and then matching X, you can spin like that. I'm losing time to show this. First try nice? Yeah. Once you get the hang of it, it's a bit nicer. Also, I can show you there because this is a section where I'm waiting for to spawn, so it's not too bad. Uh, with these guys as well, same principle applies. Do not kill three in a row. If you kill three in a row, you get sparkle hunting, and that's not good. Sparkle hunting means you're going to be just losing time. But if you're wondering why you didn't buy during Vic, you're buying a lot during Mariska. Uh, and that's why you needed that money. Like, I, I know, Earl, it's always funny, and I love doing this, but, like, when you talk about, oh, you need money, you need to get a lot... Oh, yeah, the Ghost Bus 2 kind of messes with the audio and just chills in the back of the glitch. Because we skip, like, every fight in this section, so it's really cool. <laughs> uh, the trick saves minutes, by the way. It's, like, minutes of time saved, so it's worth getting. And if you want to get record, you have to do it. Uh, if, you're, if you're trying to learn the game on the route, you don't have to do it, but if you want to get record, that's the problem. I uh, do grab that if you need it. Um, this section is going to be an escort of the bus. Um, it's actually really easy, and I don't know if it was meant to be easy, but you just shoot the rocks. It's very slow and pretty chill. You don't need to auto-aim this. It almost always have very easy aiming. Uh, make sure you're not hitting the rocks, though. It's kind of a weird thing, but it'll happen. But I love stuff like this because you kind of see the whole run come together. Like, I've, I've been mentioning for so long, like, oh, money, money, money. You need the money, right? Where is the money? But that's why. You need to have all the abilities in the game so you can have better time later. You just see how powerful some of them get, like with the butt slam. At this point, you'll have butt slam, so you can start doing that on new game. Like I mentioned, the new game, new game plus routing really equalizes by the time you get to loose. Like, there's no real difference. Except maybe health and maybe stun value. But at this point, it's very minor. Right now, you're just waiting for the rocks to go. Slight tip for the rocks. Um... The way they go is that when they change color, you can shoot them. That's it. You can't shoot them early. If you try, it doesn't do anything. They have to be the, like, highlighted. Watch. See? No shot. I love that. Also, there's your Kuma rabbit pose. Are you happy, rabbit fans? Also, weirdly enough, you can actually, like, avoid the enemies. They don't really do anything here, because I think the game is expecting you to be in a different state. They, they just sort of ignore you. You can even get hit by a rock. It doesn't really matter. <coughs> this is a good time for donations, as they say. Ha ha ha. Get it? He did the GDQ thing. But yeah, I don't know why the enemies don't body you here. They just... I think their AI is broken because you broke it. Hey, they even the one bit. Perfect. So, uh, do be careful with doing the chainsaw dash here. Uh, doing it too much, you might actually end up running into an issue. Uh, the reason why is because if you overheat, you can't cut the mushroom. That sounds kind of funny, but 
yeah, don't overheat this. So stop a little bit for the mushroom. I will let you cut the mushroom. It is a very weird mechanic, but overheating does not let you use the mushroom. I don't know why. It's like maybe like maybe five seconds of loss. All right, now Twitch chat, I apologize. Because you know I had to do it to you. You know I did. We're going to be dealing with the deadliest enemy. Where, where, where are we? I'm dizzy, Juliet. Well, it's a cutscene, first off. Oh, man. But it is a it's giant like a chicken. Giant now, what's the giant chicken? What's the giant chicken's name? It is. Chat. I'm sorry, chat, but you know I had to do it to you. Uh, the main thing to know about chat is that it's really easy once it pecks the ground. Just do armadillo spin into it a couple times. Um, the first peck will always do a stun, though. I'm sorry, chat. You had to die. F. F for chat. If you're watching this here or on YouTube, type F. So going to the bus, you can always skip the cutscene. I do apologize. On this part, you do get the round and round cutscene, or the round and round song. If you really want to live in the moment, listen to Dead or Alive round and round during this point in time. Uh, I do not want to get uh, DMCA'd. So, we get lo-fi hip-hop during this point. You can still spam Roach if you want, though. And don't worry, when I do this game in the future, I do plan on keeping uh, DMCA music on. It just, I've wanted to do a commentate run for this for a while, and I really wanted that to not get DMCA'd. So, do forgive me for not having it here. But normally if I do this, I do actually include it. Also, I want to have a better likelihood of getting this game in a marathon to showcase that you can mute the copyright music. So, there's that. I'm glad we still have the roaches. Thank you, Chad. Even though I just killed you. Ah, uh, for this, honestly... Just use your common sense. You're running over zombies. Find them. I messed up on one. It's on the right. Wait, no, it's not. Wait, where is he? Wait, 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 wait. No, wait. Common sense. I messed up. Oh, God. Yeah, it's pretty chill, Tugboat. We're we doing good. Where is he? Wait, did I... Oh, there he is. Okay. I whipped that. That was my bad. Right? It's pretty chill not having all the cool music. Unfortunate, but these things happen. You know, I have to wonder, as a comparison to usual, because normally I have my voice and people already have the cozy stream environment, how many people I wonder knocked out because I had lo-fi hip-hop today? That's a good question. Anyway. In this section, you're going to be getting into a fight with a tractor. It's going to be right, center, left. You're getting into Chainsaw Blaster immediately. And then walk into it. There's also 4 a.m. Right, but I always shoot 4 a.m. So I don't think that works the best. There we go. And good stuff. I recommend saving this guy. I don't know why. Like, for some reason, it activates the cutscene coming up for this. Like, I can never get it activated otherwise. Also, guess what? We're ignoring these guys. I heard that word an animal. Okay, we have now we have uh, flyers once again. Uh, shoot these two immediately. Uh, for these two, can wait a moment and then shoot. See? It's literally just waiting a slight moment. Waiting is your friend. It is a weirdly good speed on this ground. Um, there are shops around. You're not going to need them for a while again. Honestly, I don't think you're going to have money issues either at this point in the game. Like, if you're having money issues, you may have messed up on saving some people. I recommend just saving more people during uh, Vic's chapter. Um, there is the section with the thir three cheerleader, or, you know, the four cheerleader fights. You're almost always going to have enough money there. If you need it, feel grab it. But money routing won't be an issue for the most part. Also, New Game Plus money... Funny part, I guess you do New Game Run, you can really go to New Game Plus afterward. One of the problems in New Game is if you want to run New Game, you do have to delete your file each and every time from, like, the Xbox 360 system settings. So keep that in mind. People do like New Game Plus for that reason. Um, it is something to consider. Shit, wrong bottom. There. Yeah. 
All right, this section sucks casually, and it sucks kind of as a speedrun. Uh, this is Bomber Zombies. Can't play on a different account? It's super easy to delete your data. I mean, you can if you want to, but you have to delete your data at some point. Unless you just keep making new accounts. These are Bomber Zombies. Shoot them. I know that sounds simple. Uh, for the most part, it is. Um, they're getting in spawning in different waves. Uh, normally, you try to shoot the center most, because they do collateral damage. Like, watch. I shoot that one, I'll combo the one next to it. You want that as much as possible. When you get the five spawn, shoot the middle one. Kills all. After the five spawn, you'll get runners. It's kind of like the hard mode. Uh, runners, again, just make sure they're not hitting the bus. Uh, at a certain point, it doesn't matter if they do. You can kind of deal with them. Like that one, I don't need to go for, but it's nice. What's up with it? It's a Forza Riot. Uh, I have it on because I do not want to get DMCA'd. Um, and I want to put this one on YouTube because I'm doing a commentated speedrun. So, I'd rather have it and be able to get ad revenue, because I don't want to constantly have to, uh... At, at least for the speed on explained one, I don't want to get- I want to have ad revenue for that, you know? Normally when I run this game, though, I have on the actual music, and next time I do this game as a run, I'll have actual music. Yep. Honestly, it's been kind of cozy, too, not gonna lie. Although, imagine I get- you know what, I'd better get DMCA by lo-fi hip-hop than anything. Anyway, that's how it goes, just shoot now, make sure you do have enough ammo for a variety of reasons. One, you're fighting uh, immediately more tractors. You making money, right? How shocking. I can't believe someone wants to get paid for his work. How shocking. Yeah, this section is three uh, tractors. Just shoot them. It's simple enough for that, but that's why you want to have more ammo just in case. It's never bad to top off on ammo if it's right next to you. It's never bad. All right, weird fight coming up. We're gonna be fighting Chat 2.0. Chat's gonna get their revenge. I will say though, I was even want to plug myself because I think we went a little bit longer today. But I hope you've been enjoying the stream, Twitch chat. If you are enjoying it, follow us on Twitch. If you're watching us on YouTube, come over to Twitch. If you want. It's nice. A lot of fun people here. I'm mostly kind, unless someone particularly annoys me, then I kind of act like a dick sometimes. I admit that, but it's more of a vibe thing. I like sometimes they get taken out of context and I'm addicted to one person and then I'm seeing like a dick in general. I'm like, I'm not that much of a dick, am I? Because most people think I'm chill, which I'm, I feel like I'm a dick sometimes, but it's weird. I know that's more of a mood thing, but either way, I hope people on YouTube do enjoy this as well. All right, so chat 2.0. I'm a comfy streamer. I do like seeing the cozy frogs in Belmont. I do like seeing the, the comfy frogs. They're very definitive of the right now. Anyway, chat 2.0, get right in the middle of them and spam armadillo spin. Oh, I meant the dicey frog. Hurt your brain? Why is that smell like this? Makes sense. It's a lot of chainsaw. I mean, the rabbit in Altharis is a new game plus costume that you don't normally deal with. But... It was chosen by Twitch chat. If you're wondering what my ideal costume is, I use Shiro. I like Shiro the best. I like the spirals, reminds me of Saw. Hey, but I mean for events, you make it a donation incentive on costumes. Okay. Alright, so that's actually not the hard part of the fight. The hard part is phase two. Uh, cause phase two makes it into like a weird... Hydra? Hydra! Hit one with your gun. Once you get one with your gun, it'll start pecking. When it pecks down, just get ready for it. And then do this. You need to do this three times. Uh, I'll give you ammo as well. That's the only way to actually get it. Just keep firing until you get a hit. Uh, if you do not get a hit, you're not going to be able to uh, get the thing. There we go. It's all dependent on how accurate you are with the gun. Alright, there we go. That's fine. Oh my god, I can't let it whip that. That's fine. Minor time loss, that's fine. It's better to say it than sorry, be off the ground when it strikes. You can see why. Also, it'll regenerate health every time. Luckily, I got a hit, though. Wait, buddy, are you gonna do your attack? There you go. Alright, come on. There you go. Alright, it's going. Alright, and nice and easy. And there is uh, the next round of chat death. 
And now we get to the next round of Round and Round by Dead or Alive. Are you spinning me right round, right round, round? Whatever the song is, you know the one. It is the Curse Bunny, you're right. If you're wondering why these are here, by the way, also glad you're chill -hooded. Uh, these are here, also yes, the Mii spin part. Uh, these are here because Suda likes having mini-games. You know, I think you're right, I don't think I did say Chainsaw Controller. Chat didn't remind me. Exactly, spam Roche. It is time for the round and round. Um, best strategy for these is just go in the loop, like there's not really a way to metagame it. I don't recommend eating the explosions, they do a large amount of damage. And quite frankly, the zombie spawns are based around the explosions, so you can never truly bypass it. Just sort of play along. Doing a fair loop will usually work out in your favor. Also, this is really strange to steer on a chainsaw. Also, the difference in this section and the last section is the last section had like a hundred zombies in a field. This one has infinite spawning zombies and laps. So this is why you want to do laps, because you're not going to really be killing like every single one. You're going to be killing all the ones in the area, which they keep spawning in front of you if you keep going in this loop, which is why it's faster just to do the loop as opposed to anything else. So do the loop. And it's going to be the strategy like three or four times, you know, go in the loop, do the three point turn during the smaller sections, and then continue the loop. Very straightforward and very easy. Let's see. And then we have maybe, I think, uh, 1.5 more. We're two thirds of the way done. Nice and easy. I do think that there is a bit of RNG in this portion, because in theory, you know, getting lucky zombie walks could make you get more. But it's pretty minuscule and won't matter in the grand scheme of things. Like, I don't ever think there's going to be a point where someone gets world record because they got a better zombie spawn here. I mean, if they did, it'd be hilarious, but, uh, I don't think it's going to be something you have to worry too much about. I really should say that Lollipop Chainsaw is much more of a... a snowball effect. So, like, obviously there's the big trick, like, the Mariska skip to the farm, um, but, like, a lot of the messing up sparkle hunting, messing up certain combat sections, they're not going to be bad by themselves. It's the continued mess-ups that will lead to ruin, so to speak. So just consider that while you play the game. Also, I swear to God, the lo-fi hip-hop is going to become like the sleepy version of this commentary. You know what? If you're watching this on a future YouTube video... Let me know if you, I don't know, take a nap to this video. I don't know, it's always a complimentary thing. Also, do not use Chainsaw Dash all the way. If you do, you won't have the energy to do the big jump. It's kind of one of those weird things that you have to consider. Uh, also, our second pole dancing in the game. It is almost always efficient to do this because you get a lot of zombie kills without a cutscene. In fact, I think this is one of the best ones in the game, because you can kill the whole group of zombies without having to, uh, actually fight. That's why pole dancing is good. I mean, that's a sentence you can take out of contents in a few things. I'm pretty sure people can find multiple reasons that pole dancing is good. That's one of them as well. Well, there you go, little crow. That was a good nap. Alright, now we're going down in the ravine. The ravine section is going to be mostly chill. Um... Weirdly enough, you're not going to worry too much about sparkle hunts here because uh, the barrels don't count for some reason. So blow up all the barrels first. I missed like all my shots there, by the way. Uh, do make sure you kill the guys on the ground. But it's like weirdly spaced out that I almost never have issues with sparkle hunts in this section. Like if you do, I think you're doing really good in fact. Like it's a, it's a good problem to have, so to speak. Also, a strategy there that you can see I did is you want to make sure that while you're moving there, you're shooting while walking to the back. Uh, that will allow you to get closer to that tree branch when you finish and you just cut it down. Kind of fighting as you move. It's a nice thing. 
Also, if you're wondering, some phone calls are mandatory. If they happen, they they happen. You can't skip this one. It's sitting right here on the counter. We could have had the mom costume chat. We could have had it. Also, good old fashioned, ignore these dudes. Uh, we're gonna be hitting one of the largest fights in the game. Also, QTE. You just dodge it. This is gonna be like three different waves. Um, each wave is gonna have its own strat. Wave one, standard, kill. just run and kill. It's not so bad. You can take a while to guess what I'm gonna be doing for phase three, but phase two is the one I really wanna talk about. Uh, cause phase one, obviously, there's me, uh, killing. Uh, you may notice I'm not trying to use any of the barrels. Uh, the reason why is I actually wanna use phase two for this. Uh, the more barrels I use, uh, the less I have to worry about later. And the faster I can do it, uh, the better it'll be. Um, the count's low enough here where it's kinda worth it to me to just do basic kills as opposed to fancy kills. But after we get the 16 kill, what's going to happen is we're going to get 32. 32 zombies is a massive amount. That is a lot of zombies. So, Sparkle Hunt away. If you're going to be getting it, lean into it. There's no real better way of doing this portion. Hope to God you either get big chains or you get small hits. I'm glad you're liking this It's really cozy. I'm really enjoying it too. Like, I don't think I'll do it every time for the Life Hop Chainsaw, but... I wanted to make sure that the speedruns explained one had a um, something I won't get DMCA'd over. And for a while, whenever I uploaded the Life of Chainsaw to YouTube or a lot of pseudo games, they use a lot of licensed music, so I just I uploaded a three-hour video that doesn't make anything. Which you know, it's not the end of the world, but I do content creation full time, so it's always something. It's always nice if I can actually get something like from a three-hour video. <laughs> yep. Uh, the other ones I kind of upload and just eat the hit because honestly, I, I really like Lollipop Chainsaw as a game. It's a really cool game that I don't think it's nearly enough love. So, that's kind of why this one particularly gets love by. Also, don't you worry about the sparkles being gone. You're going to be using Butt Slam on this guy right here. You'll have it on all areas of the game. Uh, hold on X, ram into it. Immediate death. And yeah. And that's why I always like to mention that, you know, any support is appreciated on the stream. It's my full time gig. Also, Chainsaw Dash into the boss fight. Uh, I do wish I had more ammo, but we don't need to buy more ammo. The fight actually gives you a lot of ammo. Alright, we're now going to one of the hardest boss fights in the game. Uh, Mariska, in my opinion, is definitely one of the tougher ones. As I'm Samurai Poe, I'll be doing good. Uh, the reason why... She's not hard as a damage fight. She's hard as a it's going to take you a while fight. Uh, the reason why is because also two cutscenes are skipped here. One on the first one, and one here. Uh, Mariska has three phases, like all the other fights. Uh, but Mariska is exclusive to uh, gun. So you're using gun the whole time. Um, if you run out of ammo, don't worry. Uh, ammo does spawn in the fight, and just make sure you are keeping a hold of it. Uh, once she's low, you're going to be breaking her down. Uh, do not aim at her and chainsaw dash to her. Uh, do grab ammo if you need it. Yeah, I do. Uh, it's recommended highly. Um... Make sure you make her that timer runs out. If you don't, you go back into the phase. Uh, that's kind of why she's so difficult. She's really slippery. And with her three phases, she's one of the only ones who can kind of repeat a phase if you mess up. Uh, also, for, well, phase one is easy. More of the phases are going to be the same. Shoot the, shoot the orbs. Um, there's not really an amazing way of doing it, barring shoot the orbs. Just keep shooting the orbs. Make sure they connect with some kind of uh, Mariska Ball. Also, I recommend uh, getting used to the idea of moving while shooting. Uh, moving while shooting is going to be very ideal. Uh, the reason why is because uh, that's going to let you get ammo as you go. Uh, obviously, for a fight that it's entirely ammo routed, um, you're going to need a lot of ammo. So make sure you're continually getting ammo as you go. Uh, you're going to need a lot, because the whole fight is based on bullets. If you run out, you're going to have to get more, which I am kind of messing up my shots right now. Yeah, I messed up all my shots. If you need to, chainsaw dash. You need to quickly get bullets. 
Uh, this is why this fight's so difficult. Um, it just, it's a lot of rapid firing and hoping you can just be hitting Mariska. Uh, you need to break all of her, uh, copies too. You can't just break her, you need to get the copies. Oh my god. Am I missing the ammo drop, by the way? I am. Oh, come on. There's an ammo drop here. It's gone now. This is the general strategy. Ammo drop, go. Alright, once the main one's health starts dropping, that's really good. Uh, you want to make sure that's dropping, like, uh, mad. And also, even when it's dropping, you want to make sure you're getting ammo all the way up until the finale. Uh, once again, once you got it down, chainsaw dash, get into that. Alright, final phase is a little bit easier, actually, funny enough. Like, phase two, I think, is really the hard phase. Phase three, slightly easier. Uh, the reason why, you're mashing bullets. That's it. You are mashing a lot of bullets. There are eight Mariskas. Fun fact, by the way, Mariska is voiced by Amanda from Saw, so it's like Saw the game. Alrighty. Now, there is an attack that can happen, the giant hand. Um, honestly, I don't mind eating the giant hand. You can try dodging if you want to. I didn't get it there. It's not the end of the world if you dodge it or not. Just make sure you're constantly getting ammo. Also, giant hand does have a follow-up attack. You can kind of see I dodged, I originally dodged, but then I didn't. It's easier to honestly eat the hit. This is why you also wanted to buy the upgrade and why I mentioned having extra money is good. Because if you got the upgrade for, um... I think it's like the Aroma is the name of it. Uh, you're going to be able to resist more of the stuns. Stun resistance is very good because, uh, especially on Mirska onward, a lot of enemies really like stun resistance. I got bullets, that's nice. <laughs> Almost done. Alright, last one. I like how they knock me down with that. And then just make sure you can get all the way to the end. I might not make it. So... Barely squeezed in. Beautiful. I'm actually um, losing time because of this fight. I got a really bad Mariska fight, but it's not the end of the world here. Mariska is a pretty tough section. Alright, and Mariska is done. So, funny enough, New Game Plus benefits stop uh, mattering um, at Chapter 5. Oh, that was on DRDR, I'll be doing good. That's a controller. Alright, Josie is annoying. That's really the best way I can put it. Chapter 4 is not really a speedrunning chapter, it's an annoying chapter. Um, you're pretty powered up at this point as a new game runner, new game plus, don't worry, I'm mentioning this for new game because new game plus doesn't matter here, you have everything already. Oh, so but, My mom and dad know exactly for, for new game, you're not going to have the full power. That was a much better risk than the current world record. I have a much better run than the current world record for New Game Plus. Um, I kind of improved the run a lot on New Game so far, and this is my first real run on New Game Plus. I mean, I did I did some earlier, but I couldn't get like one of the skips fully down, and I labbed it, so it should be good. Um, the cool thing, though, is you are... Oh, I missed that. That's fine. You are going to have butt slam, so a lot of the stuff is pretty much going to be applicable as well I'm saying. Most of the strats you're watching me do on New Game Plus, you can do on New Game here. You're going to be on 2 damage instead of 3, but everything else is mostly going to be the same. You have all the upgrades you need. Uh, Lollicopter is going to be a weird one to use. I'm going to have to explain a lot of that when we get to Chapter 5. Uh, but for right now, just make sure that if you ever see a uh, health guard enemy, uh, you are using the... Using the bus lamp. It is almost always going to be the best strategy for that. Uh, groggy enemies die one shot. Metal up your ass. Alright, so the way Josie works is his whole gimmick is you have a fight, you have an arcade. A fight, an arcade. Every time you do a fight section, arcade section. Also, good to know, Max Hill. That is good to know. Thank you for that. So, uh, all these cutscenes are skippable too. It's kind of weird. First arcade section is, uh, like Pac Man. You know, they used to call him Cock Man. 
I usually say fuck man, but I'll do the Scott Pilgrim joke so you can have that one. Get it? Scott Pilgrim reference. I can't believe it. Anyway, uh, the keys for this is kind of weird. The Pac-Man moving like RNG. Ignore them. Um, you want to get this first key immediately. The other keys won't spawn in until you grab that one. This spawns in more uh, fuck man. So, the way you go doesn't really matter. Pick right or left and then stick to it. Uh, you want to make sure that you're getting all the stuff. Do grab one of the star upgrades. You don't need all of them. You're not really killing them. You're mostly going to be avoiding them. Um, the big thing is after going, uh, I guess, you know, top here, you're going to want to go all the way uh, to the other side where you didn't go. There we go. I did. I did mention it. Alright, so the reason why I did this is because there's going to be a key right here, right? Uh, and then when I grab this key, I just change out Ash. You want to end either on the top right or top left. You can kind of pick either one. You always want the last one to be right in front of the door. Very straightforward. Very easy. See? And slash. And like I said, this is going to be arcade fight. Arcade fight. Uh, the fight sections are a lot easier than the arcade sections, funny enough. Uh, a lot of the arcade sections will be tough. There's no shame in failing some of them. It's okay. Uh, I'll mention what the really tough ones are. Um, if you are struggling with some of the fights, it actually is worth it to do this. Uh, just because you can take out um, the enemies here immediately on really both. Um, you don't really need a heavy amount of star power right now. You'll get more a lot through the arcade games. So you can just do it here. And then you get a little Nick mini game. For a lot of the run, it's gonna be more worth it to use Sparkle Hunting than holding it if you know you can. Huh. Toby, what do you mean? What do you mean? Or Toby. Also, fun fact, for these survivors, you can skip them. If you're doing good ending, you have to do this, but guess what? We're not. I always love the idea that we just kind of ignore them entirely. See? Nice and easy. Also, uh, one thing to mention about these poles. If you go near them, you will slide down. This is going to be very important later. Uh, certain tricks are going to be very hard to pull off if you do not understand the mechanic. You want to avoid them like the plague sometimes but for during that if you just get anywhere near it that's why i can just chainsaw dash into it game number two this one is easy uh this is a tower climb or i guess it's like building climb i don't know what to call it Are you ready? uh you're gonna start by going right and it's like elevators uh this guy always dies like immediately i i don't know why he dies like in one hit even on new game he just dies this is all too surreal. But the little dude in a red cap and blue overalls pops out at me. Uh, it can get a little bit tricky, but I first go right. Uh, that'll let you kind of deal with these guys. Uh, funny enough, even during the arcade game, Sparkle Hunting applies. As you can see, it just don't give you the big rainbow because it's arcade. Game. I'm assuming. Oh, there we go. Ah, it could have been better. All right, for this one, it's very simple. You go up, you go down, and then you go through here. It's a minor puzzle, but it does slip people up. Okay, this one's going to be the, uh, the jump mini game from earlier. Just make sure you push the right QTEs. I think they try to make it one of everything. So it's always, like, every button on the face pad. Also, look, it's a reference to hit movie Predator. I can't let this movie pretty to pray 2022. Who would have guessed? Not me, man. So I run to the back for a reason. Uh, if you try going up here immediately, this guy doesn't spawn. It's really counterintuitive. But if it looks like I went the wrong way, no, I went the right way. For some reason, uh, Nick just won't be able to spawn here unless you do that. I always hate sections like that. But I guess it's to teach you, hey, you need to make sure you get the Nick body. Alright, so this guy, you don't actually need to fight, you just go through this door. It's faster, too. 
All right, and guess what? You've now done the tower climb. It's nice and easy. Oh no, I can't believe it. It's Fuckman. He's back. Don't worry. Push Y. He dies. Hardest boss fight in the game right there. Oh no, he's dead. I can't believe it. If only there was something we can do about him. Alright, now comes our third area of pole dancing. Um, honestly, just use it immediately. It doesn't matter if you get the kills, it's not gonna be fully available to the fight. You don't get a lot here anyway, it just... It's one of those cases that you just kinda have to do it. Pac-Man's a bad guy? How dare you quote the hit movie pixels at me. Alright. So, for the guitarist, it can be worth it to do Buster. Uh, the reason why is- why well, I keep whipping it. There are definitely enemies that can kind of hit stun you. And getting hit stunned is not going to be good, uh, because it can lead to some pretty bad stuff. However, they do die all the same, so really depends on what you can have. Alright, now absolutely an enemy that you bought this for. The Stereos. Stereo enemies will make every enemy dodge your hits. Uh, they're really annoying. So, definitely land it. Guess what? They don't work anymore. And now you can go back to regular fighting. Stereo enemies are the probably the worst enemy in the game. They buff every other enemy in the game. So, you almost always want to deal with them immediately. Really? There we go. And... good. Alright, so the next minigame is going to be something really fun. I like this one because I didn't realize that the game was the way it was. I think I found a skip for this a while back. I don't, I wouldn't even really call it a skip. It's more of a, like a slight or mechanical thing. So, the way this one wants to progress is that you need to kill all the enemies that are required. Oh, my neck. Sorry, my bones are aching. What does that mean? In order to win the game of Pong, you need to kill all the blue enemies. The game doesn't really tell you this. They kind of expect you to figure it out, I guess, because maybe it's blue. Uh, they kind of tell you kill all the enemies. You don't need to kill all of them. Just the blue ones. So, the blue ones will die if you butt slam them. Or you can even just... My god. He is the the world's strongest man right here. Drop kick if you need to. Drop kick's also your friend. As a reminder, if you are next to a wall, drop kick is good. Alright, so these guys, um, much easier with the stereos. Butt slam into uh, chainsaw, and then same uh, ideal here. Butt slam into chainsaw, didn't quite get it though. And yeah. Alright, GG there. And then you just win. See, very fast, very easy. You just sort of let you go. You win! And then make sure you go out. You don't need the lollipop, don't worry about it. So one of the downsides about doing this run with the actual commentary, I don't get to listen to the song Pac-Man Fever. Also how you doing it every play, I'll be doing good. But I do like Pac-Man Fever. You know, really, Pac-Man Fever doesn't DMCA me, but I still want to risk it anyway. Uh, the enemies here spawn one by one. You know what you gotta do. Uh, the general idea is you want to look around while they're spawning. Uh, keep moving your camera back and forth. Uh, they spawn ideally where you're not looking. It's not always going to be the same. There we go. So you're kind of patrolling. Oh god. hit. Oh my god. And hit. Funny enough, you actually can't get a double hit if they're close enough, which, again, butt slam's a really good ability. I haven't really talked much about the Nick cards. You don't need them. Um, they play a cutscene. They are really good at getting groggy, but the problem is Sparkle Hunting just does the job better, and it's less cutscene, funny enough. Alright, two more. 
And then after the 10, we're gonna- oh, wait, uh... We'll be hitting phase two after, uh, the 10. Oh god, I lifted. And... Okay. Good. Alright, so phase two is gonna summon a radio guy out of this door. Uh, radio guy's always gonna have the problem. It might even actually be worth using, uh, sparkle power here at this point. In fact, I'd recommend it. That's why even bust slam and you can just do this. Death. He's dead. Also, a safe way to prevent uh, the animation is slash jump poke. Slash jump poke. It is a very reliable combo that ideally won't totally mess you up. I actually went so fast I didn't spar all the enemies yet. That's kind of funny. Oh no. There's the guy. Alright, got him. Alright, so after the 10 are done, you're going to be uh, aiming the chainsaw blaster of the helicopter. Take it out. Do not stop firing until it is dead. Do not mind if you're wasting ammo. That is okay. Why? Because uh, this is an immediate game over if you fail. Continue firing. I cannot stress that enough. Some of the game gets really mean, and it's kind of unfortunate for that. Also, they give you more ammo anyway. Alrighty, so now it is time for one of the worst mini games. It's gonna spawn you in front of it so you can just patrol around. Um, it just takes a bit to load. This is going to be the tower climb, also known as the, the area I know DMCA's me. So, the tower climb isn't super hard when you know how to make it work, but the thing is, is it is a very simple arcade game that is a one-shot kill always around. Uh, the guy in the top there does kind of spawn RNG. He'll lean to the right. Um, you want to be climbing as much as possible. Now, notice some of them are opening up. Um, avoid those. Whenever you are going up, it is worth it to fire if you think there's an enemy nearby. So normally I start firing here, I wait for this guy to then go, and then I move to the right. Uh, once I kind of pass the one opening here, I move to the very right, and I kill the guy here. I play this very safe because a reset here is very deadly. And remember, mash and kill. It is not worth it to play this risky, there's no point. Kill all of them, leave no prisoners right here. And also take your time, I really cannot stress this enough, it's a very simple game, you move up, Someone's play it us. very safe. There's no need to play it risky. Also, big car spawns there, so go all the way to the right at this point. Uh, the car will always be there. It is worth waiting it out, actually. Uh, you don't want to deal with the dodging. Uh, the blue things spawn cows, so make sure you kind of get out of the way when they're done. And then at this point, keep firing until you hear the guy die at the top. There we go. Uh, once that guy dies, you can climb a little bit. Once you pass this section, immediately go here. Uh, the reason why is because the guy on the left is going to be dropping shit at you, and that's bad. Before you move, kill him. Uh, once you pass the tire, you're home free, but do be careful. Uh, if you do walk into um, one of the things that's going up, that's bad, and we're done. See, nice and easy. Are there any butt plugs? You know, people have mentioned that a lot. I originally thought it was just kind of dirty humor, but it happens... They do look like that, don't they? I don't know what they're supposed to be. I really don't know. But knowing Suda, maybe. Um, really, the best thing to say about that is you gotta practice it and just keep on the movement. Uh, Amelia, you're gonna jump, you don't have to worry. Honestly, just mash buttons here. You have to do that in order to get the spot, maybe bombs. Either way, it's a one shot kill and you just like fall down. They might be bombs. I can never tell because of the pixel graphics. Oh, so that was a good one, Schrodinger. We're doing good. Maybe they are another dragon. Maybe they are. That's where we need to go, Juliet. All right, so Josie's fight is annoying. I really can't word it any better. He's not hard. He's just kind of annoying. Uh, Josie can have really good RNG or really bad RNG. Uh, he is the first boss to really change up the phase gimmick. Uh, Josie has two phases. That mini game he had was considered a boss, we can count that. Uh, Josie, honestly, best strategy usually is jump strike. Uh, also, you can do uh, armadillo spin. Uh, but the thing with Josie is he's more mobile than his companions. Um, he also has the UFO, and he loves the word um, hit stun. 
Uh, the bad RNG is you get this attack, because then you'll have to go up and you'll have to shoot him down. Uh, he's really annoying. There's also a lot of game awards that you have. I try to demonetize the channel. So, uh, let's hope he doesn't do that for me. Thank you, Simski. Alright, this is almost done. He went back up. That's actually a really good RNG. I didn't know he can do that. That's never happened before. Every time, right? Alright. Josie is down. Can he pussy cats? I do not think he does. Alright, Josie is down. That was actually a pretty good fight, luckily for us. Um, things to keep in mind, if he goes up, get on the stairs immediately, shoot him down. Uh, it is a bit tough to keep track of him, but that's what the manual aiming is for. Do not auto-aim at him, you won't get him. And then, there's a game of Simon. It's worth winning because you can stun him, but... If he's being try if he's trying to be mobile, what you want to do, jump, hit, jump, slash. Um, if he's not being mobile, Armadillo Spin, you'll get a lot of damage. Phase 2 is really easy. It's going to start you locked on. Do not be locked on. Lock on is the worst thing you do here. Yeah, I hope it goes well for you, Simski. Oh, my neck. Ah. Okay. So this fight right here. It's going to lock you on a Josie. He has a shield. So what you're going to do is wait for the red. And then you're going to Armadillo spin each of these. Armadillo spin them. There you go. It one-shots all of these. It is a very strong tactic. Uh, on easy, these don't have enough health to really bypass it. You can actually kind of sneak in a sneaky phase if you're fast enough. Uh, once these are all dead, you attack Josie and the fight's done. It is very quick and very fast. Uh, one more, and then you lock on. I really shouldn't say this. Uh, I, I shouldn't feel like I have to say this. Don't attack it when it's red. Uh, and then Josie is dead. Alright, Josie's done. Remember when I mentioned he's mostly annoying? It can go like that, or he can he can keep giving you the phase where he keeps scanning the bombs. Pretty much, you don't want the bombs. That's all I can say with Josie. He's annoying. Awesome. Alright. I actually golded that. That's kind of funny. Is that me, Jessica? It is me, Jessica. Oh. Well, actually, no. It's you, Jessica. I hope you're having a good day today. Alright, Lewis Legend. We're on the, um... Really the final level of the game. Uh, the final boss of this game does exist. They're really not a huge thing. They're more of, like, the tutorial level. This is the last real challenge you'll have. Alright, first things first, uh, abuse the fact that you can make Zombies groggy. Uh, he is very powerful, as you can imagine. How are you doing good today? Hope oh, today hasn't been too busy. There we go. It is kind of worth it to wait if you can, but just make sure you can get these guys as much as possible. Because they are one of the only enemies that can hit you out of on the stuff. There we go. Good stuff. Alright. So, that shop right there. On New Game, that will be your final shop. What you are going to buy is simply damage upgrade. That is all you need. At this point, damage upgrade is your friend. If you have anything left over, it is worth to buy Aroma. But damage upgrade is going to be the main thing you're going to buy. go. Just a bunny? It is a bunny. I like the bunnies. It's actually ground growing on me, not the light. Thank you, Wonders. Shout out to me, Jessica. Dealing with these guys is mostly the same at this point. Also, not, not really even a buff on New Game, New Game Plus. Uh, I recommend saving the Sparkle Hunt right here. Uh, you can deal with these three guys at once. At this point, your damage is going to be on par, and you have the one move I've been using. The only difference between New Game and New Game Plus right now is the fact that I have more health, and I have the ability to get out of stuns faster. That's it. So by this level, there is no meaningful difference between the two. There we go. It is a bunny. Alright, now I have one of the toughest strats in the game, chat. You ready? It's gonna be the hardest strat in the game. First jokingly and then non-jokingly. So, the jokingly hardest strat. We're gonna be waiting in this corner. This is an auto-scroller. Now, what's the problem with this auto-scroller? If you slow down time for any reason, the timer will not progress. 
So, uh, if you are getting sparkle hunts, guess what? That's bad. So what do you do? Wait in this corner and push B. This is quite literally, uh, as they say, a good time for donations. It's also a good time for me to say, I don't know, I hope you're enjoying this so far, chat. You just wait here. Nobody puts Bunny in a corner, but they already did. They already put Bunny in a corner. Now, the reason I wait here is because this car is going to be knocked down. Now, the funny part, though, is right after this, we actually have a really difficult trick. I haven't said any sneeze, so we did good. Yeah, it's nice to be back. Um, I think things are going okay. At least I hope they are. But, I feel a lot better now. I've been chugging cough drops like mad. But anyway, uh, while I'm here, I do want to explain the next skip, because we're going to be using the lollicopter to carry height. And we're also going to be doing something similar to the Mariska skip. Lewis Legend has, like, again, like, maybe two or three tricks we have to do. And they're all very difficult. Uh, phase one can be interrupted, unfortunately, so we're going to escape this. Uh, car is going to be knocked over it. That car is going to be able to get us lift. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of walk into it. It's awkward. I usually kind of do the same thing I did for Mariska. Just kind of hold upright, like, kind of move into it until I can get a lift. Once you get that lift, get on top of the boss. Do not get knocked down. Here, go here, start curving, and then lollicopter and mash X and hold right. Doing so, you'll land on top of that, and you've skipped a whole fight. Uh, you don't have to do it. There's a guy there. Don't worry about him. He doesn't matter. I wasn't busy. Did I just find a regular play there? Yeah, this game is great. Uh, do not dilly-dally here. Uh, if the enemies run out because Cordelia will kill them, you will die. Uh, it is a very weird mechanic. They summon a helicopter, and if it hits the ground, you die. So... You want to get here as soon as possible, but it skips a pretty long fight, uh, actually. Uh, a lot of flyers, a lot of phases, and it's kind of annoying. So. Blackguard, they are sort of prime gaming for eight months. Enjoy the emotes and the stickers. Thank you. Well, yeah, the game didn't expect you to get there that early, so it kind of bugs out some of the animations, and I kind of love when it does that. Like, it bugged out the bus earlier, it bugged out that guy. The game has a habit of doing that. Also, cool thing about this, Cordelia can kill enemies for you if you're lucky, so. You don't like the big boner? That was one of my favorite parts of Shadows of the Dam. Okay, this way then. It's good stuff. Alright, for these guys, honestly, just go for low slashes. Like, there's not really a better strat, they die really quickly. Just low slashes. There we go. See? If you do that, you'll get that, and that's bad. You don't want that. Exactly, Stevio. Who doesn't like the big boner? Okay. You have to go faster. He kind of crammed them all at the end. Also, make sure you're dodging into these guys. Remember how I mentioned that the police officer is kind of annoying? You don't really deal with them until later. Now is later, but luckily we have enough damage where you can kind of deal with most of them pretty nicely. An important thing to note is that after you kill the third guy, the fourth guy is waiting behind the door. So you want to make sure that you are um, by the door right here. Because he's going to spawn like right here. And guess what? You can just pick him. And dead. Nice and easy. Alright, so luckily you wouldn't use sparkle hunting there anyway because we're going to have a big fight section with like 20 people. Um, once you take out this one, you can get sparkle hunting. The longer you save it, obviously the better it might be. Nice. But same principle as usual here. Try to make sure you're getting all the big guys with it. Anyone with the health bar is priority target. Anyone else is just target. Meaning you're allowed to kill them, just do make sure that the others are dead first. There we go. Also, a bunch of guys will spawn over there. Um, it's kind of funny. Uh, if you go too fast, it can actually be a problem. <laughs> you don't think it'd be like it is, but uh, it's a good problem to have. I'll say that much. It's a very good problem to have. So you can just kind of kick that guy. He explodes anyway. There we go. Also, I'm not bleeding, am I? No. I have a problem with those bleeds. They're kind of chronic, so I try to make sure I'm not dying very often. Alright, and dead. Oh, I'm alright. Okay. I also don't want to bleed all over my, you know, my white flannel. I like this flannel. It's a nice flannel. 
Uh, you always do bad ending. You can't do good ending. Uh, good ending requires you to save everyone. And even if you try doing it, if you're doing the speedrun skips, you just can't. Also, it's pretty worth it to use the doggy mechanic. Bassists are a, or I guess the guitarists, the bassists, they're very deadly enemies. So, don't even try fucking with them. Just take them out. But yeah, while the good ending is cool, like, the problem is, especially in the Lewis Legend level, you skip, like, both, uh, you skip both of the saves. Uh, doing them just takes too long. So you would ideally not want to do that. Wait, I killed three? What? When? I don't know when I killed three. That's fine. It's minor. There we go. Also, funny how these guys come down to you. You can actually one-shot them. And it is ideal to do so. Okay, good. Ah, perfect, of course. One? Ah, that's fine. Bonk. So last wave here is gonna have football guys. Uh, they don't show up too much more. Really, at this point, I really can't stress more than it's just kind of basic combat. Uh, we're at the point in the game where a lot of the bread and butter of the run should be noted. Uh, but we will be getting to, um, arguably the hardest skip in the game. It's harder than Mariska. Um, you still do want to be careful for the grand scheme of things. Oh, I would die. You're kidding me. That's fine. Oh, God. What are you doing? I pushed the wrong button. That's what I'm doing. Ah, it worked. But yeah, Lewis Legend is fun because um, this level is two halves. It is getting to the cathedral and it's being in the cathedral. Uh, the cathedral is a very, very long like dungeon. You have to crawl through it, kill enemies, stuff like that. We're not going to do that. That's long. We'll be doing some of it, but not all of it. Uh, we're going to be skipping like, probably a good like five fights at least. Probably more than... Like, like, like Mercy was like, let's say three. This is like a genuine five. Maybe more. And they, they're long fights, too. Like, there's a lot of them. Alright, so the way this is going to work is we get in here. Uh, we're going to be getting a cutscene in a moment, so be ready to skip it. Uh, it's going to be, like, more of the family helping you. It's Roz. Uh, the gimmick here is that there is a giant wrecking ball. Do not get hit by it. You'll get stunned. There's also why I don't upgrade the aroma, because you just get out of it faster. Homing is not really needed. You barely home onto enemies. The bunny up, it's not bad, actually. It kinda, it kinda, it's growing on me. So, funny enough, it, it is actually worth it to sparkle on here. If you can have it unlocked in time. Uh, the reason why is you can see there's one right there. And as you remember, collecting a sparkle hunt while in a sparkle hunt actually allows you to maintain it. What other outfits they have? They have Shiro from Dead Man Wonderland. They have the Ma. They have all the characters in the game and their respective outfits. Um, they have a lot of Coomer outfits, but I don't want to get uh, I don't want to get demonetized in all honesty, so I don't want to I don't want to do all the Coomer outfits. Uh, where's the last one at? Gunner, right? No, we got him. Okay. And like I mentioned, Sparkle Hunting there is fine as you can get the replacement really quickly. So big fight here. What do you do? Guess what? Just jump. Uh, they do alternate buttons here, so make sure you are pushing the right one. But this is gonna be a lot faster than getting a whole cutscene. I'm gonna play the remake. I really hope they let me do day one or day zero. So yeah, I'll play it. I hope so, at least. Also, you're not gonna kill the one guy that's flying, so I'm just gonna keep that in mind. So just kill him right afterward. Also, Peter is only a problem on New Game Plus. He will not spawn a New Game. I don't know why he's unique. It's very weird that he's the only spawn that's unique. Funny enough, the little pig behind me is also named Peter, so he's betrayed me. All right, now here's one of the weird fights, and I don't know why, I really don't know why, but just trust me when I say this. Sparkle hunting is very easy to activate here. Like I mentioned, they always sort of happen. The ones in the middle can't be sparkle hunted. The ones on the left and right can. So that means is one, two, Kill the ones, kill some in the middle. And then, one, two, 
kill the ones in the middle. You can kind of see how it goes, right? That's actually fine. Definitely just make sure you're not getting it. Another thing you can do is you can also kill two on one side and then swap over to the other side. And that's also kind of worth it. Good. And then 23 down. So, what have we learned? Don't use Sparkle Hunts with the gun. It's bad. It's always bad. Getting it normally, it's hit or miss. Getting it with gun, bad. All right. So this area is really easy. Uh, it's a mini game where you need to make sure you stay underweight. Uh, it's a thousand kilograms. I'm an American. I don't know what kilograms are. However, they, luckily for you, they have a nice number at the top. What's the answer? Kill everything. My favorite. I can't believe it. I can't believe I thought about it. Two methods here, armadillo, uh, armadillo spin or drop kick. Uh, both are really good. Obviously, this one's good, but dropkick can be good, because if you kick someone off, they fall off. But obviously, dropkick has a slight issue that you might not exactly hit. But sparkle landing hit has an issue because this. So dropkick, I think, is preferred, but you might not always get it. And also, I don't think the heavy enemies are too immune to it. So just kind of food for thought. Also, this is more of a timing section than it is a killing section. Like, you just survive while you climb the elevator. So, don't fret too much. Just make sure you're constantly getting them off. And, like I've mentioned in the past about some of this stuff, well, one, uh, actually, this is new. Avoid edges. Um, if you fall off, that's going to lose you some time. It's not an immediate death, but you do get a QTE. But if you do die, that's going to be slower than if you sparkle hunted. So feel free to waste your power if you feel like there's too many of them and you need a quick kill. Constantly get them off? Exactly. We're constantly getting these dudes off here. I can't believe it. I mean, with the rabbit suit, too. I can't believe it. I just the quality content you find at twitch.tv slash ecdysis. I never would have guessed it. But luckily, right after this section, we'll be hitting the big skip I've been hyping up the whole time. Uh, it is a pain in the ass, too. Uh, it's gonna pretty much combine everything we've done. Uh, for every single skip, we're doing all of it. And all I can really say is that you'll need to kind of follow my movement. Yeah, we checked it out. I think Juliet weighs about maybe 115 pounds or so, like 100, like 110 to 120. Because the chainsaw is about maybe 15, and then I think Nyx has like 10 or something like that. It's getting too heavy. Cecil Harvey, name of the tier one for nine months. Enjoy the Twitch baby, the emotes, and the sim once again. Hope you're having a great day today. Hope you're doing well. So don't worry about dying here, by the way. Um, as long as you're not doing too bad. Oh no, wait a minute. Don't worry, we caught it. The game kind of fakes you out always, so it's like they drop everyone at once and then it breaks and it just lets you go. Which well, I've always wondered, why not let's let you go up? It's kind of a weird section. Anyway, time for the game to be rough. Why? So, this cutscene right here is how you know when you're doing the skip. You're going to ignore all the fights. Uh, what I recommend doing, though, is kill the flyers if you want to save your strat. I'll show you the safety version, because honestly, I'd rather not mess around. Um, kill all three of these three. Um, try to avoid sparkle hunting, it's not going to be good here. Uh, we're not killing them because we have to, we're killing them because they're going to be annoying if we don't. Uh, what's going to happen is you're going to go to this trampoline. Do not fail the QTEs leading up to it, or else you're going to not be able to fly. Yeah, I hope you didn't get it, Ace of Hari. You always get two enemies, uh, and then you go up. Um, here's mash buttons. Uh, I'll bring you all the way to the top. So, what you're going to do is you're going to chainsaw dash on the corner, spin, and you're going to land on the out-of-bounds area on, like, on the other side of this. So, like this, and then I like to go forward, and then once I pass this, I go back some. Uh, I messed that up, I need to reload. Um, it's kind of a little bit of a muscle memory thing, so 
Uh, I'm trying to land on the little platform right next to it. This is where a lot of my runs go to die, and a lot of runs do go to die here. Um, there's no shame in failing this. It's a lot of practice. Just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, once I get the landing position, I'll kind of talk you through it a little bit. But that's kind of how it goes. Hope you're doing good. Hope you're doing good today, Tex. Luckily, the restart checkpoint works, and I can't leave Stromichu with Bump in the Night to terrify Twitch chat and the YouTube community. If you're really confident you can do this fast, uh, you don't need to worry too much about the enemies if you are uh, able to pass them. Just kind of keep that in mind, though. Alright, one. But what this skip is going to do is it's going to put, uh, put you right at the boss fight. Uh, it's going to skip every single fight for the rest of the level, and it puts you right at the end. Uh, this is also why I mentioned you don't want to go too much into that. Uh, if you are having issues, uh, usually you want to wait a little bit, and then... There we go. You got it. Uh, you can aim the gun. Uh, that will kind of get you pointed in the right direction. Um, make sure you're facing this way. And then you're going to do uh, chainsaw, uh, you know, lollicopter again. You want to go roughly about right on the screen thing. From here, if you want to aim manually, uh, you want to walk forward, you can run. Uh, I recommend going slow, it's a lot safer. Uh, but you want to end up uh, behind these bars. And now, be on the very most left side of this, and then look this way and drop, hold forward. Uh, at this point, you're going to drop down between this pole, go to the candy bar, run straight into it. If you got it right, you'll see that thing on the bottom right, and that's how you do it. Uh, it's very important you go to where I said to go. If you go too much to the right, you're going to not fall into where you need to go. So, at the very left of that, like, pillar right before the big one, like, that exact position, go forward, make sure you're really close to that pole in that exact position, look at the candy, go to the candy. And then, you're right at the end of the level, and, uh, you're, you just have the boss fight up. Uh, I'm pretty sure even with my second try, this is probably still gonna be a world record, but we'll see. That's not a great world record, because I didn't get, um... I didn't get a quick fight, but it's still not bad. That's what I'm right around. We're doing good. That's a Mars Kicks. So, it could be worth it to sparkle on here. I'm not gonna lie to you. Um, Lewis as a boss fight kind of sucks. Uh, it is one of the harder fights in general. Honestly, this is a large crowd. Um, if you can constantly 4 chain or even 5 chain, go for it. Or even better, if you can get just no chains. Like that, that was clean. Go to the candy and say trick or treat. I mean, it does work. Yeah, that's very politely, though. Alright, almost done. Alrighty, and then last guy. That's funny. Alright, now it's time for the boss fight. You don't need an immense amount of ammo, but I would say at least over 20. Right. At least over 20 is good. No, it's a rabbit suit. I'm not gonna buy a rabbit suit. I already have a frog suit. I don't want a rabbit suit. Also, it's like a rabbit, it's a like frog onesie, like pajamas. It's not like, it's not like a frog frog. Or like an anthropomorphic frog. So I'm haunting around, it's adorable. Alrighty though. So, Lewis Legend's fight. Why is this fight kind of weird? So, with Lewis Legend, uh, his phase one is easily the worst phase. Um, normally, you want to kind of predict him, uh, go in early, have lock on on. Um, I got better RNG there. Ideally, what you want is you want this exact style where you can just kind of pound him the whole time while he's here. This will lower his health. So, it doesn't actually matter until you lower him to zero, but you need to win a Joust. Uh, but the Joust win doesn't matter unless he's on zero health. So, uh, you want to get this seed, and then he'll go away, and then at some point he'll go. He will only challenge you to a Joust if you hit him. So, you have to make sure you hit him, and then... Win the Joust. Alright, phase one is done, and now you can in the real fight. It's kind of weird as to why you want it to have over 20. Like, you don't need an immense amount of ammo, but you need enough to get him into phase two. Uh, from phase two, it's really easy. Um, you begin the actual fight. By the way, I say over 20 because you still have a boss fight after this, and you want ammo for that. You need a lot. And actually, it might be worth buying ammo if you're low on ammo. Like, it's very important you have ammo for the uh, final boss. 
Um, use all the ammo we're gonna use here, but I'm gonna need maybe a bit more ammo. Ideally, I wanna have 30. But for now, Lewis Legend has the boss fight of Elf Rock. Um, really, the strategy's lock on and spin to win. If you stop, spin to win. Otherwise, uh, you want to uh, do the jump dash. Our jump slam attack. He is pretty fast, unfortunately, so do keep that in mind. Please stop hitting me. Come here. Alright, there's phase two. By the way, Lewis Legend has like, I think six phases. You have to break his full mech and then you have to kill him. Every mech also has its own mini phase too. It's kind of, uh, jank. Come on. He's on pretty fast. Oh, come on, I didn't need to do that, that's fine. Okay. Almost got it, and... Alright, next phase. We're on to the next part. I broke his lower legs, we're going up to the upper arms. There we go, legs broken. No, I'm on regular controller. I did my chainsaw controller once earlier, it was like a five hour run. It was fun. But I definitely uh, did a number on my hands. So I hope that anyone who, uh... I hope you all appreciate the idea. For this phase, you can get a lot more of these, uh, the pound attacks. Although, as always, preferential attack is that. Also, I haven't really talked about it, and it's been like almost the entirety of this run. If you are wondering when should you heal, you should heal if you are a half health or lower. It is worth it. That is when you should be healing. Eating a death can happen. It's not often, but it can happen. And let's go. Oh, we're going to have a good strike. We're going to go there. Come here. There we go. Alright, a little bit more. You can see I'm not getting a big gold because I didn't get my, uh... I didn't get the strategy first try or something to lose by it, but we'll see. Really, this fight just a very long time. I think I love the lo-fi hip-hop going into the elephant roaring. It's true ASMR of elephants yelling in lo-fi hip-hop. It's like listening to lo-fi in, like, the Sahara. Where do elephants live? Anyway, final phase when he whips out his, like, coat of arms, or the fuck that is. Uh, this is probably one of the easiest ones. Almost done. So a cool shot you can do here is that if you time it right, you can actually hit him while he's, like, jousting. But we should be almost done with that. Okay. Turn out the mines. And dead. I had a really bad Lewis Legend fight in my PB for some reason. I don't remember why. Alright, and... The final boss is dead. GG. But don't worry, the real final boss is Elvis. So there we go. It is a bunny strawberry princess. Hope you're doing good today. Oh, my back. Ooh. Good stuff. Roll the record. We're literally watching it happen live. Okay. So, this part's kind of weird. It's literally do QTEs. You want to get hit by the cars. Um, it's kind of weird on the killability section. It's really short, uh, especially if you know what you're doing. It's supposed to be kind of like a frantic, like, hey, you have to put on, you have to go all out just this once. Uh, what that means is uh, get hit by cars. 
Uh, when that's done, you can finally jump. Uh, we're gonna be hitting a minor fight. Uh, try to take care of it as quickly as possible, so you know the drill. And then afterward, guess what? We're gonna be hit by more cars. Now, the big thing is you do want to have about maybe 30 ammo. If you are underneath 30, it might be worth it to get more. Like, even if you have to buy it. Um, not having the ammo is immensely bad. Like, it is a huge problem. Also, you actually want to eat the car hits, because then you can do that. Uh, cars are RNG. Just make sure you are looking in the distance and you want to run into the path that they are showing up. You need three total. And that will create the bridge you need. When you see the rainbows, you are good to go. Alright, from this point, just make sure you run into the, um, the blue, like, cooldown tanks. I don't know why they're blue in this chapter. They sort of swap the color. And luckily, they always spawn in the same spot. Uh, the path's pretty linear. And especially at this point when the buildings start closing in, do not miss one. Uh, missing one here is actually death. I got this. Thank you. So do not miss it. At this point, you can make it, and there we go. Ah, yes, of course. Ah, oh, you can say the name. It's all good to meet you. It's hit YouTuber, Nico Kato Avocado. I can't believe it. So, if you manage your ammo right, honestly, I'd recommend if you were lo running low on ammo right before Lewis Legend, get the ammo in that room. Ah, uh, because you're going to have the ones that spawn here. And luckily, you can log most of the enemies here. Right? I can't believe... Well, we'll see him. Don't you worry. We'll see our favorite hit YouTuber. Oh my god. Did I get rammed by the flyers? I might have, actually. Alright. And then, uh... There are, like, two more. Where are they at? There you go. Alright. I should have enough ammo. I have, like, exactly 30. So this should be worth it. Alrighty, so we're on the final stretch. Now, why do you want 30 ammo? Killer Billy sucks. Uh, his boss fight is shooting him with gun. And then going into, like, a wave defense. He's actually kind of a pretty lackluster final boss. Um, I like him. Native concert or MU. What? But, I I what? Love this is console. As much as I love why would I be playing on emulator? I'm not going to emulate Xbox 360. That sounds weird. That sounds weirdly difficult. Alright, so this section is kind of weird as well because he blockades paths. So what you gotta do is, uh, hide. There we go. Eventually he'll break the, he'll break the stones. It's weird that you have to wait, but trust me that you, you gotta wait. Even Stranger, you're gonna continue waiting. He's now new attack. He's gonna have the death ray. That's good for us. But all you're doing is you're gonna be waiting uh, behind this. He's removing to wait. No, you actually have to wait. Uh, the rocks are blocking you. You can't pass them. And then once you have this section right here with the ca uh, canteens, keep going. Yep, you gotta wait. Uh, honestly, left and right weaves is the best idea for the movement here. Kind of in and out serpentine motions, actually. And look, this is really good chainsaw. Oh, I almost had it. The one with the ground got me right at the end. How you doing, Kaloran? Good to see you today. And one more. Alright, good. And now, we just go right to the end. Uh, if you are running low on ammo, there's a shop right beforehand. Do buy ammo to full. Uh, you need uh, about 30 rounds or so. But yeah, this is the serpentine motion I talked about. You, you learn chainsaw dash the more you play. I'll show the best thing to say for that. Uh, you'll go right to the end, and now the boss fight begins. So, with killability, the way you want to make this work is aim between the eye, alright, between the eyes and the forehead. Too high is bad, too low is bad. You want to get roughly around the eye area. Like, I I'm pointing my own face for this, but I'm not hit YouTuber uh, Nico Kato Avocado, so I'm not exactly going to be the best point of reference for this. Anyway, the way this is going to work is, again, zoom in the eyes, zoom in the sunglasses, and then later's going to lose them. 
You want to wait until he settles his head back, by the way. See him on the nose and do damage. You want to see red. That is what you want to see. You can actually skip a bit of phases if you play this right. Um, you want more ammo because you, you do not want that hand going to his face. That was actually a really good fight, probably the best I've ever had. Um, you're letting him headbang. You do not want to let him put his hand up. He puts his hand up. If you're mashing, it can go wrong. You want to make sure you're timing it and mash if you need to at the end. You do not want that hand going up because you lose a lot of time. I know phase one is now done. I like to go to this hand over here and just sort of chainsaw dash. Um, there is some bad RNG that can happen if he plays with this toy car. That is an actual sentence I said out loud. If that happens, um, you might not be able to get the hits here. Um, here we go. That toy car is fine. He's not driving it yet. He's spawning some in the middle. Uh, now, a good, a good thing to understand about this fight is that he won't always die immediately. Uh, meaning that you actually have to end up killing uh, some of these guys. It's been really good so far. I think I might. Oh, didn't get it. That's fine. Alright. Almost got it. Uh, I got all the guys down. He's gonna come back. When he comes back, I should be able to finish him off, I think. Yep, there we go. Okay, do not miss a single QTE here. Take your time, take it slow. This is fatal if you miss. Do not miss QTEs. It's an immediate death on a single drop right now. Do not miss them. Alright, once you match this one, guess what? You are home free. You have got a PB. You're good to go. It's not world record yet. It's not confirmed, but you can't game over anymore. So, in here, you're going to chainsaw dash immediately. Do not mess up these QTEs or you lose time. You don't die, you just lose time. They'll throw you back in the beginning of the area. You can't game over here, but uh, we'll see. Alrighty, here we go. You gotta believe? No, you don't. We're already here by two minutes. I kind of already said I'm gonna crush world record. I, I wasn't joking when I said there's a reason why I wanted to make this one YouTube monetized. Anyway, I'm gonna say right now, if you like this video, like, comment, and subscribe. It helps the algorithm. Tell me your favorite part of the run. Tell me why you hate Josie. Tell me why you hate Vic. You know, tell me why you like Zed. You like Jimmy Yura. Oh God, no, I'm not gonna cosplay Juliet. Really this was worth it. Anyway, Chainsaw Dash. Oh uh, this is gonna bring you to the QTE. Do not miss them, you'll lose time, but otherwise, you're good to go. Now, the runtime actually ends when you skip all the cutscenes. So. Alright, uh, so keep skipping, keep going until you get the report card. When you have the report card, you are allowed to hit time. GG. That is a 2.23.30. It's nice. I personally, I like the Shiro outfit more, but that's world record, I'm pretty sure. What was old world record? I don't, I don't know. Old world record was probably worse than this. By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not surprised, why I'm so nonchalant about this, I already got world record in New Game. That one was a lot more pipe to me. Um, New Game Did Plus, I had a feeling. I beat it by three minutes. Comment, subscribe. Hit I beat it by over three minutes. Share with your friends. Thank you, Striker Day, for the 25 bits, by the way. I like that one. But yeah, um, I already got world record in New Game, and a lot of the skill transfers over. If you know how to do New Game Plus, you can do New Game. And this is why I wanted to say, hey, you know... New Game Plus commentary goes to New Game. The only difference is in Chapter 1, 3, and 5, you do some shopping, you do some money routing. The difference that you actually get is lost once you are um, in Chapter 5. Uh, once you hit Lewis Legend, you're not having a bonus anymore. The only real bonus you have is something else. But if you're wondering why I did so good, my Kill Billy fight was really good. I kind of finally figured out the momentum for that, and um, a lot of practice for that. So, anyway, we'll watch the ending cutscene here, but I hope you enjoyed uh, this run. I hope you enjoyed Lollipop Chainsaw and explaining this. Uh, this is definitely a game I kind of fell more in love with and I kind of wanted to get one of these going. I feel like with a lot of the pseudo games, I've been hard grinding them, so I definitely wanted to uh, showcase some of the fun and kind of explain one of these. I think this is like one of the longest ones I've done. Like, I think the only one longer might be uh, Until Dawn, but that's like a movie length one and that has a lot of chilling. Like, this is active like two and a half hours of 
chainsaw blaster. So I guess you can appreciate the uh, chainsaw and all that. I didn't use this controller, but I have it. So. A mix up? Anyway, chat, uh, what did you think? I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it wasn't too um, different. Rugged headquarters. Again, it's not a big deal. World records, literally, they're arbitrary. I already got in a new game, I knew I'd have a new game, and now I have a new game plus. I beat a time that was made three years ago. I'm pretty sure if the world record holder came back, they can probably beat my time because I dropped the Lewis Legend trick. I mean, this still wasn't a bad run, all things considered, because everything else is like first try. But, yeah, this run's definitely decent. Juliet? Let me see the difference right now. Um, I'm like six minutes better than my new game time, but the old one's like seven minutes better than theirs. So... Exactly. I knew I'd get rolled record if I did it again. Also, I like I like the ending here, the giant bunny suit. It's kind of it's kind of funny. Not gonna lie to you. Also, enjoy the lo-fi hip hop. I whenever I do these runs again, I don't plan on using this often. I just wanted to do it for uh, for this one video because I wanted this to be the YouTube one. Anyway, I should probably make the tweet. So if you want to be in the tweet, I don't know. Uh, type chainsaw blaster, I guess. So, Up here. Oh, no, I'm gonna do the okay. do the, the the peace sign. Yep, I think I lost a testy in the blast, but what the hell? I don't need one. Looking great, sir. Cool. Got it. Best hurry. Your All right, let's see who run. made it in. I'll make the tweet. Daddy, I really like this lo-fi hip uh, lo-fi hip hop. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, lo-fi music is a good idea. Uh, there we go. You know, I'm really glad this happened when I commentated, too. Alright, anyway, like my tweet. And also, I'll stop the lo-fi because we're at the end of the game. What cutscene do we get? I bet I, you're wondering, what do we get? Mom, I'm home. Mama, your lover boy is back. Everyone, where were you? Hmm. You were supposed to be home hours ago. There we go. Mom, I have someone I want you to meet. Mrs. Starling, hi, I'm Nick. Oh, you're Juliet's friend. So, Mom, like I said, um, wrong? you can't really get the good ending unless you do the, um, unless you save Juliet? all the survivors. And the problem is by doing some of the... Oh, wait, you can watch the happy ending. Wait, do you want to watch the happy ending? I guess that's New Game Plus option, huh? I mean, it's pretty minor, but would you like to watch the happy ending? I'll let Twitch chat pick. Happy or sad? You can watch the happy ending. Yeah, I forgot. New Game Plus, uh, since I got the happy ending, we can totally do this. Fine, you don't get this often, but happy ending. Bad ending is she turns into a zombie and eats you, so this is the, uh... This is the good ending. She takes off her bunny suit, I can't believe it. I didn't realize I get a pick, by the way. That's kind of funny. Oh, Juliet. Honestly, I guess New Game Plus ain't bad for this, is it? Finn. It's can It's lollipops, by the way. If you're wondering what those are, those are lollipops. Someone asked earlier really if they're beads. They're not beads. They're lollipops. So. Anyway, Chad, I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed Lollipop Chainsaw of Speedrun Explained. If you liked it, I don't know. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching us on YouTube. If you liked it here, thank you. I like doing these. They're fun. Anyway, Chad, guess what you get for at least a little bit? No, they're not beads. They're, uh, they're lollipops.